So we are now live with some PSO. Just wanted to showcase that I finally got this character to 180. I'm gonna let you know it was a very boring, uneventful grind. I got literally nothing. When he was hunting, was rewarded with two of his items. Nice, nice. I mean, that's probably gonna happen, especially for people that are new to the game. For me, I, I never get the items I'm looking for. <laughs> I mean, chat saw how long Gal Griffin Wing took. What was that, like 100 plus runs? That was horrible. But, oh, the other thing I wanted to showcase. So I've, I've put away all my materials because I was curious how much I would get. Okay, that's not accurate. I was curious how much I would get by just playing this week. So, so far today, I picked up 18... You know, I'll take the luck material. I didn't find any luck material today. I picked up all these materials, and I think from the standpoint of the badges i upgraded everything to a gold badge so i think my goal is to have 40. i've only found four personally the rest have just been upgrades and finally chat this character has access to red ring but it was p1 oh, congrats to them i still don't have that up in. but anyway um i kind of wanted to give this character a shot later today i just wanted to showcase i finally finally could use the red ring that it's been sitting in their inventory for like an eternity. So they are pretty tanky when it comes to falls. So I'm thinking what we'll end up doing, chat, depending on who's around. Since it is a decent bonus going, I'm thinking we actually just try to do a quick sweep for some items that I have been looking for. Since we've been doing a lot of stuff that other people have been looking for. And I figure we could somewhat contribute to points and do some kind of odds and ends here and there. The people want some experience, by all means. I think before we jump into things... <laughs> I was gonna say... You know what, Chad? I'm gonna give you a decision. A choice, as it were. Did you want me... Oh, thank you, Magic, for subscribing. Do appreciate it. Do you want me to play as my Humar today? This is, this is your opportunity, Chad. I will play the Humar, but you have to carry me in ruins. <laughs> Because I am not doing anything by myself in Ruins. This character damage is muy terrible. <laughs> Alright, we're playing as the Humar. What's on my list to hunt? Vivian, Yuncheng, Terrell's Parasol, Cannon Rouge, Galantine, Twin Blaze, Cycle 1, V502, Jaya. But I'll, I'll start off with getting a Spread Needle, actually. I'm gonna humor you, indeed. There you go, chat. I need to actually be yellow ID. This is somewhat a psycho wand hunt, but it's more realistically a uh, spread needle hunt. I haven't used this character in so long. What does he even have on him? Oh, he's a real mag. Damn, he's actually like a, a real character. I forget sometimes. <laughs> like that, like like this is actually a real setup. V101 attribute wall, lieutenant mantle. That's not bad. Forty hit Jaya. Uh, make do with that. But anyway, we're gonna go ahead and make a game in episode one. So there's everybody's if everybody's favorite quest that nobody likes to do otherwise. I had him on anguish too. Don't even I couldn't even tell you what we were doing last that would have warranted going on anguish. I could not even begin to fathom what I was doing on anguish too with this character. Welcome, Murphy. Trying to play on my laptop, but playing on a laptop is awkward. Oh, no worries. So, I do need people to carry me. <laughs> you were trying to kill him? I think so. So, I mean, he should level. I'll probably just bring out some Vulcans. One of us, one of us. So, we'll do a quick run. There's a quest that everybody, everybody may or may not know about. Now <laughs> there's two of them. <laughs> Yeah, we're, we're... This is like 80% of the Humar population right here, more or less. <laughs> it will be concentrated into one game. But I think from that standpoint, we're going to do a quest called Fragments of Memory, but we are not going to go to the third floor or the second floor, also known as Gimmick Hell. I'd prefer not to go there ever again. But the surface of this quest has so many enemies that the odds of us getting a spread needle with this much are pretty high within two runs. And all the bulks have a better drop rate than the Chaos Sorcerers. 
by like 50, like, like 50,000 more or something ridiculous. So technically this is also a Psycho Wandon. Hey, I play you, Marcus, Chris. True. So we're just waiting for a fourth person. I'm assuming, Chris, you're looking to hop in. I'm not sure who my A day is. I'm gonna be honest with you. I, I lose track of character names. Dango's easy. Dango is Dango. Other characters? I have no idea. I'll do Angry Stomps though. Crystal says I'll hop in. Do you, oh, do you have a con or do you have a controller with you or no? I believe in you. Apparently says the song. Oh, it's minus. Nice. I am the tallest character here. I mean... I could do... Yeah. I guess I'll start the quest. And I'll do a quick mat count. Oh, there we go. This ever infamous quest. When we get into the other area, I'm curious about my rewards. So, drop rate and rare rate scales really well with things that are not uh, Darkbringers. Since Darkbringers cap out at a pretty low drop rate enhancement, I think like 120 or so. So, it's more, it should be more efficient no matter what to do this for Spread Needle than the other choices. Uh, I could do some damage at least. I mean, 11.35 is good. 73 power, 28 of 8, 69 defense, 19 luck. Do I just need luck material? And 189 materials used. I should probably fix this materials at some point. It's it's not like I can't afford it. So at least as a group, I can do something as the humor. By myself, I'm like, no way. Not happening. <laughs> the all humor party? Oh no. That sounds terrible. There you go. I'll be the party debuffer. How's that? Chat actually trolling with like projectiles. I'm like over here actually fighting. Whatever. Healing time. Okay, so we could split up potentially. You're capped on money. I can help you with that. So we have different ways we can go. I'm just exploring. We're looking for bull claws and or things to kill. I didn't get one shot and died. That's an important difference. Smoking plate. Nice. Oh, I'm going to die to me good. I didn't die to me good. I think this is a dead end. I mostly just want to check it for the bull claw. It's important we kill all the bull claws before they split up. That gives us the maximum odds of getting a psycho wand. There we go. Humor, Rabarda. Got him. Checkmate, chat. Pretend I'm a real character. See that? Look, I assisted. It's like I had freeze trap. I really don't want to be in the middle of that. Let's go ahead and debuff them. Team really just needs to use Rebarda. I don't know what you guys are doing. There we go. I appreciate the dark blow though. Let's go. Rebarda is so good. Okay. I think that's it for this room. So we'll go back. Yeah, so the odds of us seeing a uh, good drop are pretty high. We used to do this on very hard to get uh, specific buffs. So speaking of buffs, do you mind uh, dropping a little uh, Psycho Wand? Please leave me alone. Oh, no Psycho Wand. Hopefully you're doing well in Parameter. 
I probably should get a ray gun for him. I'm sure I have them. I just don't have them on him. I'd like to be able to move a bit more. Put chain lightning on that button and not AoE. That was a mistake. Oh, this is before I knew about the... Wow, I haven't played him for so long, chat. I don't even have different spells when I hit control. Wow, that was like... 2023? Like the beginning of 2023? I've been using it for a while. It's pretty painful. Yeah, that's long ago. You could join whenever. Sure thing, Murphy. I'll die to that. Yeah, I was gonna say, that's- I've been using that literally almost every event last year. Especially when they made the improvement. Humor definitely got no love. Speaking of no love, I'm getting hard bullied. I need to get out of here. I think I need to run, because the sorcerer is gonna kill me. Or get knocked down. Getting knocked down is also fine. I just don't want to die to Megid. Look at that, I'm using debuffs. I'm actually contributing. I'm not contributing much, but I'm doing something. I thought about giving him Yun Chang, but I'm not feeling I'm not feeling that confident yet to just get away with the berserk. Oh the bull claw open. That's so sad. In the original PSO, that means you could never get their drop. <laughs> That's fun. I thought they fixed that, like, two years ago. Yeah, I need to put Razond on. I'm gonna fix my slots in a moment. I don't mind Gazan, but I need to actually be able to do something else. <laughs> like, what is my control menu? <laughs> just, like, I'm honestly, I just don't even... My brain doesn't even comprehend. I heard a rare draw. Something like this, maybe. I love I just always have access to Bardo, by the way. I don't know why I did that, but it's there. Thank you for the cash. I'm gonna say, Humor hungry for money. Was that Rafoe level 10? Oh, I'm sure it was. I'm sure it was. <laughs> there is no doubt. I'm like, this character, I didn't bother. I didn't, he doesn't even have his materials capped. I didn't bother. We'll go fix them eventually. Uh-oh. I'm one of the only people with buffs. How did that happen? I mean, I can't buff myself. I'm a humor. That is not aimed properly. Thank you, Robarda. Damn, you're so useful. Making Humar look good. Let's go. Nope. Shift to level 17. Oof. Yeah, that's true. We need to fix that for the other characters. Every level of shift matters. I probably legit have a shift to 20 in my bank if you really want it. Minus sex. That's one of those things I pick up when I see it. I'm pretty sure I have one. Another smoking plate. You do? You didn't use it though. <laughs> I can see you have shifted 17 according to the island. Murphy drew attention to that. Get rid of these. I at least have max level debuffs. That's where the important thing is. Oh, you do need it, okay. Just make sure to not let them open up. So do a power attack to knock them backwards. Or Rebarda. Rebarda will stop them from hitting you. Nice paralysis. No Psycho one there. Sad. Why did I get struck? Whatever. You know what? I'll take this. This damage is actually fine. I played with weaker. I still can't combo kill or do anything by myself, but I guess he's fine in multiplayer. I'm gonna shoot that orb out so that way the party doesn't die. Mm 
delete that enemy real quick. Hmm. Well, we have pick a path. I'm also at 100 meter. Anybody want to do a, a super a super humor activate? Oh, nobody else has it. Unless we do a double donate, I guess that's fine. So we're gonna need minus X in here for a double donate. As a reminder to donate, you have to hit the little squiggly two when you hit control. So I'm gonna use twins. There we go. The most powerful he's been in a long time, chat. I'm upgrading to real character. So we could, in theory, stick together. It's definitely risky with Humor splitting. I'm going to go to the far left. But do whatever you want. Oh, I definitely want to get out of there. Oh, got stuck. No, the doorway in ruins trolled me. I couldn't hit him. I can't escape this. Nobody else went left. This is really awkward. Right, at least I could get out of here now. Well, I didn't want to be solo, but here we are. Rip. I don't know what I can do with this character solo, even with the buffs. I'm going to be taking so much damage here. Yeah, I think I'm just kind of hosed. Honestly, I think I just have to leave. I, I don't see how I could kill this many sorcerers, to be honest with you. I, I said left. I in my defense, I 100% said left. Yeah, I, I can't kill the sorcerers by myself. I'm not that geared. And there's like a million claws now. Oh, come on. And a Del Saver? I might as well just teleport back. I don't think I could do anything. Yeah. No. Do I, I was going to say, do we even have Ryuker? Alright, we're leaving. I can't deal with that. No, thank you. <laughs> it's like, I'm like, I could do some damage, but I can't solo like eight claws and two, a Del Saver and two sorcerers. It's not happening. I don't care what my gear is. It's not that good. I'm only 118. Rip Dango. Open up that path. Oxes. It's not the spell I thought I had. I rearrange my spells a little bit. Yeah, let's go this way. I'm gonna see where else this leads. If this doesn't lead anywhere, if somebody else pipes, we'll go back to mine. Yes, yeah, so there's nothing else to do here. Okay. Guess in theory I could open the door, but that seems like a waste of time. I'm gonna see if anybody else has pipe. I guess I could take my old pipe. I'm gonna leave a pipe out. Found Dango. He was where I was earlier. In the nonsense room.
There we go. Missing that special there. That's interesting. Okay, stop the sorcerer for now. Then any bell row. Goodbye, sorcerer. Demons are arrest for a spread needle. Yeah, use the seed, which is not a rest. Thank you, uh, Murphy. What was that freeze left though? I missed that comment. I mean, Rebarda works in mysterious ways, listen. It does whatever it wants. I'm so about to take damage, I think. Nope. Oh, I just need somebody assisting me in the corner. Fine. There we go. Alright, so we got some choices here. Uh, I'll take up her path, I guess. <laughs> Chat loves the casting animation. Heavenly Arms, nice. I'm like, yeah, I don't think I could afford to unequip anything for V801 for fast cast. I borrowed those for the run. Uh, I was gonna say, you gotta earn those, I think. There we go, big damage. Aw, oh, damn, they're getting split up. No, chat's not using Rebarda. Chat's dead. How am, I, how am I outliving? Chat, I'm the lowest level. What are you doing? You're trolling. Chat's trolling. I feel like I'm actively being trolled. What is happening? Yeah, I, I would say with- I would agree with Murphy for the most part. I would say... Demon Needle is just... You- you would use it in very specific circumstances where something like Hell Needle is just so universally strong that if you just use it, you just wipe entire runs by itself. Like, Demon Needle is nice, but it's like, that that's what it is. It's nice. It's not like, as game changing as like a Hell Needle would be. And a Rest Needle is fine, if you're not planning to do a lot of Episode 2. Yeah. Like, would I take that over like an S rank? or something else? No. Look at that. Universal kill. Alright, so so far no spread needles. We did find some ult drops from Yellow ID, which is fine. By Geese. Right, I will say though, you do need to rebuff the party. Minus X. Because literally no one else can buff. I'm still fine because I haven't died from earlier. There we go. Big damage improvement. Goodbye. We have multiple doors to go through. I'm gonna let Chat go up there. I just want to see what's over here. Oh, so this just unlocks another shortcut. Which is fine. Go unlock this. I'll need to go back here for now. I think we covered most of the map. We only have a couple rooms left to look at. Oh, uh, no, they... Yeah, that bow claw is very annoying to not have activate because there's such a big dead spot. Like, I can hit the claw from here, but if I'm standing here, I can't hit anything. I do think it's probably one of the worst spawns in the game. 
<laughs> for this quest anyway. I'm gonna let them clear that. I'm gonna go check what the other side is while I still have super buff. Yeah, like I see Demon and Mech Gun being more useful just from the standpoint of you're probably gonna use that in Tower and or Episode 4. I don't know if I would use it in Episode 1 necessarily. Oh, it's just a... <laughs> Empty room, no treasures. That's awkward. Yeah. Yeah, you're kind of limited to doing accuracy glitches for landing your specials with S ranks. Which can be very annoying. Or, or you just play Ramar. Ramar doesn't care. Ramar's like, oh, the weapon didn't have hit percentage? Didn't notice. Flex. <laughs> right, Chad? Ramar's like, it's like I'm playing with the 50 hit weapon all the time. Alright, so nothing of interest drops, sadly. Let's go back. Mostly for episode 4, go to Blue when solo grinding. I would use it on, like, everything in tower, to be honest. If I had the s rank demons. Like, <laughs> Goodbye, Epsilon. Goodbye, Ilgil. I guess I wouldn't use it on some of the flowers, but... It still would be good. Okay, let's see. Do I have any other interesting guns? I have an LK combat with hit. Spirit Vulcan? There you go. Uh, nothing of interest. Right, so let's see. Do I have a shift to 20? I do. So wherever minus X is, I'm going to give him a shift to 20. There he is. Plunk. Yeah. This away, put that away. Probably want a handgun from the bag. Okay, so he does have charge ray gun. Good. Do you want that in some scenarios? <laughs> I have S red blades in case I'm desperate. Okay, so we'll do a quick little reset. So kind of unfortunate we didn't find the item, but I did almost level. So if that doesn't work, I have a backup plan. Oh? Did something unlock? Ah, uh, it did. Drop anything rate just went up. Nice. That'll be useful. I saw it was at 145. I think it was 140 earlier today. Okay, you could do one more run? Sure, sure. We'll probably have Murphy carry us a little bit. I think I've got like okay equipment for weapons. Surprisingly not terrible. I think I'll be help fill in the gap for some of these items. Like, Lieutenant Mantle was mine, Attribute Wall is mine, V101 is mine, Double Heavenly, so I never miss. So at least we're at max accuracy. Welcome to the Humar Guild, pretty much. So we'll wait for uh, Minus X to rejoin us. Then uh, I think we'll try some Endless or something like that. And then at some point I want to go for... Potentially Yun Chang or some Cannon Rouge. My Cannon Rouges are actually trash. 
<laughs> like, like it is so sad how bad they are. That was outside. Just make sure they want to tag in. I think Chris is dropping, so we'll. I think we'll talk about who will be in after that. After this one. Yeah, just let let us know, Kaiser, if you wanted to hop in. Because we haven't game with you in a while. We'll probably switch over to Endless after this. Or at least I have Jaya, so I can kind of hard bully a boss if I need to. on after nice nice make sure we bully these things oh i heard the rare drop what a tease why can't that be cycle one chat <laughs> we were killing ball claw and everything so sad are you using lame to argent without unlocking interesting I'm like, wait a minute, I recognize that blade. Yeah, you'll be spamming some other quest to unlock it. Otherwise, it just takes forever to kill in melee. Yeah, I like... Oh, I got confused where I was for a second. I'd like to go left here, just because I know this is a dead end. done yeah endless episode one is really great for generic rares i still think yellow id is probably the best i see people saying like potentially green id because it also is pretty solid but i think also with the b101 nerfs and the odds of getting not literally max level people to get to falls are pretty low I don't think Minus X knows what I'm talking about. You know that unlocks into Excalibur, right? I'm just saying I'm not used to seeing people using it the way it is. <laughs> That's fine, I guess. Because you need... What is it? 10,000 kills, chat, to unlock it? So it's usually recommended you just play on normal. And just get it, go on a killing spree with spells. I'm going to leave the doorway this time. Oh, I need help. Need help. Thank you. There we go. Yeah, but I still wouldn't use it as like a standalone weapon, even with that. Vulcan is just better for the most part. Unless you're like really understated. Oh my gosh, I need a handgun or something. Him, please. I'm in the loop. Get them off me. Did I just seriously? Oh, I don't have Smart Link on. I was like, how did I miss the 98%? Game, please. And arrest Raygon? No, I don't want to borrow. You should just keep it. I, I have I have better items than you. It's fine. I don't need it. Oh, I'm getting bullied. Go recollect your gun. I have charged Raygon, which is much better. If I can land the special. Damn, 107% still whipping. Damn you, Smart Link.
There we go. Anyway, Humar has leveled up for the first time this year, I think. I don't think he leveled up this year prior to this point. <laughs> Maybe I should wear those barriers that potentially buff my debuff range. Is that the meta with Humar? That way I can actually debuff bosses. Huh? Oh, I'm out of uh, moon atomizers. I was like, why am I doing that? That makes sense. Amplifier is a lot. I mean, I don't. We know he can't reach the one boss without it. The meta with Humar is the pick you cast. Welcome, Diggy. You're not wrong. But the humor meta is the rewall Hunu rule. I don't know. I'm still not a fan of Hunu rule. I got Red Ring on her. I'm gonna not. I'm not gonna lie, chat. I still don't feel like she's good. I used Dark Flow with her, and she was just okay. I, I would have rather been the Hugh Cast or Hugh Seal. Just ultimately, I don't think my opinion has changed very much. All right, time to dodge. Me alone. The real meta is to let the force do the debuffing. That's true. Usually that is. Miss, miss, miss. Humor life. Wait a minute. Wait, just... Wait, does the humor have more accuracy than the Hugh Neural? Wait, I'm confused. Somebody has 199 cap. I thought it was the Hugh Neural. Wait, does he legitimately have more accuracy than her? Why? I'm just like, I just thought of that just now. I'm like, wait a minute. Why? But why, though? <laughs> Game, please. Ah, oh, I'm 1% more accurate than you. Yeah, I'm gonna go on the left warp. I might leave a warp here though before I do this. Let's left warp. Gotta give him something. Jeez. Alright, so we're back here. I mean, I guess nothing hurts for us doing another floor. Don't mind doing it. Just, I don't want to complete the bull, the BS hunts and stuff like that. Since we're getting kind of unlucky. I'll check the monster counts in a moment, though. Biggest thing he has is 250 materials. Well, that would be good if I used them. <laughs> there we go. These. Making our way through. I think Dango and I are going to have to team up with the buff. I mean, I'm actively going to debuff at least. To get dance into the music. The buff we're off. I think Dango and I are going to super buff. is what room do we do it in? 
Oh, that's the final area. That means the other area is a shortcut. Looks like the other team is catching up to us. So where was the other path? Oh, well. Hopefully there's more to do. And that's fine, I don't really care. I guess the other warp might have taken us to the other room. Give me one second. Look at fragments of the memories uh, distribution real quick. There are 93 Lodemians in Ruins 2. Let, let's do that. Yeah, let, let's do Ruins 2, actually. So, let, let's make it a proper spread needle hunt. Okay, so everybody can just join me in the hallway here. We'll donate. Yeah, let's go to the next floor so we can actually get the uh, spread needle. Rather than just greedy Psycho 1 resets. Yeah, I think Chris is nowhere near us. He's like all the way at the south. Yeah. It, it's going to take him literally 20 years to catch us. So I'm just going to say using twins. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put down a telepipe so Chris can take it to reach us. Because he is nowhere near us. I think he's literally the max possible distance away. Let me go ahead and drop a telepipe down so he can rejoin us. We're gonna fight our way through here. Yeah, okay, let's go to the next floor so we can actually get this red needle. Ruins. Why is your doorway so aggressively non-damaging? Ruins is kind of the worst for that, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, the fact that I'm, like, six steps from the doorway and I can't target, yet the enemy can hit me is so BS. Especially in that room, that specific room with that specific spawn. Because there's nothing I could do. I can't even, like, get them off of me. Take them over seabed hallways, those are also garbage. Okay. So, so far, sadly, no Psycho Wands, but that's fine. Let's go a little deeper. I'm going to investigate the shiny. There we go. I'm going to take the red warp back. And I forget what I have to do. I think I have to talk to this guy and then it opens up the next area. Okay. So we're going to search. Once we hit search, we can then go to the floor two, which should have the spread needle. Let's proceed a little deeper. There we go. Here's the spread needle chance. Rip Merlin. Yeah, we're not doing the dumb little diffusing minigame. I refuse. Okay, some Psycho Wand chances early on. Oh, the call really hit me out of that combo. Seriously? That sucked. There we go. I say, I'd like to keep my super buff. Yeah, I think there's 70 of these enemies, which should lead to the uh, spread needle. And I like that we potentially get chances at Heavenly Arms, Cycle Wand, everything else on each floor. I feel like that's mostly fair. Goodbye, Del Saber. Let's see, are you an item room? Or a main room? I guess I'll go this way. Oh, I thought somebody was gonna help me. <laughs> I'm like, wait a minute, everybody just turned. Whoops. Bodied. 
We got rid of another Psycho One chance. Use him real quick. So the worst thing that happens, we play a little bit of Endless, get experience. Some nice rares. The warp, huh? I'd like to not take the warps. <laughs> we'll, we'll take the warps later. I want to keep exploring first. Yeah, more Merlins need to perish. Psycho one chances. I was gonna say minus X, I would highly recommend at least debanding yourself. You will probably take insane damage otherwise. Healing circle. Okay. I always forget the layout of four two. I know it has an obnoxious amount of warps, <laughs> like no less than five or six. So we'll we'll kind of clear it where we get there. Yeah, but if you die, your your buffs are gone. You just you just rebuff every time. Alright, so I'm gonna take a left turn here and see where this takes me. If I hit the real one, then I can target something else. Some damage at least. I definitely don't want to freeze the leader, because that stuns the whole room. Bump. Wait, where's Minus X? Oh, back there. I'm like... I'm like, it's three people. I'm like, I don't mind doing it with three. I'm just curious. There we go. Doorway open. I thought those Death Gunners were in the current room. That's what confused me. Oh well. So let's take a warp. We have to. It, I think it's unavoidable at this point. I'm gonna take a warp. Oh, hello. Uh, I'd like to not be there. Yeah, I don't think it's possible to walk through the whole place without taking a warp, so... I might as well just go to the main room. Like, this, if there's one room I want to go to, it's probably this one. There we go. I delayed my attack there to re lock him. I like doing that. But I'm going to shoot the red one, and then I'm going to shoot the other ones afterwards. The reason I want to do that is because I can at least get double hits on some of them. And ideally, when I hit the red one, I'm going to use Freeze. So on the off chance that I do freeze multiple targets like that, I can just kill them all. That's my strategy when I play single player if I don't have Rosen Shooter. I don't know where the leader is. It's not over here, though. Oh, I forgot how slow his casting animation is. <laughs> Normally, I, I can heal and then move out of the way, but a few more problems, he can't do that. Or humor. Nice. Hello, Psycho Wand. I like you. Nope, no Psycho Wand.
There we go, just got mag blessed again. Plus side of being low level, easy to refill. Still got a minute of super buff left. Come on, spread needle. Nope. Oh. So normally it's a 1 in 900, but you have to think of it this way. We benefit from both of the 45% bonuses. So it's not that bad, and there are 70 total in this area. That's so not super unlikely we won't see one in one run in the Ruins 2. Especially with four players playing, you have to think of it. We have potentially between us over 280 chances at like a, a, approximately 1 in 700. Not the worst. Or, nope. And I like that bulk walls actually do. Oh, rip my buffs. I like that bulk walls actually do something on yellow ID, so they don't just feel like a pointless enemy. Like, yes, I might actually get Psycho One. We'll see. That'll be the dream. Someone gets the Psycho Wand off that drop. I like that I can see that they're green. Where's the leader? There's the leader. That part where he missed twice was painful. You got DC'd? Oh no, I'm so sorry, Chris. I was gonna say, your internet just really does not like you. Rip Chris. Long live Chris. Imagine you're at somebody else's place, but yet the internet issue follows. Oh, please freeze. There we go. Rip Humor. We'll finish out what we can of ruins. I don't think it'll be too bad. And we'll probably have Kaiser and Murphy for Endless Episode 1 with, uh... Yellow ID for potentially lame to Arjun and all these other things. And we'll switch it up after that. I just want to say that we did Endless, because I've been craving that for a while. <sighs> the feeling when you get a badge and not the spread needle. As a bit oh game please. There's so many calls. Leave me alone. I don't have like a disco with me. Should probably get next time if we do this again. Yeah, I figured this was a quest that at least gave okay XP but was like a real hunt. That we could do like real fast XP regardless. <laughs> So if I can handle ruins, I can handle basically anything else and not be that worried about it. Ooh, out of range. Ruins doorway. Ruin doorway, that sucks. Him please. There we go. Send Humar to tower. I mean, as long as it's Frozen Shooters, his damage is actually okay. It's more than my huge duels was for a while. I mean, I don't think I would want to send triple Humor to tower, but one Humor is okay. Yeah, I mean, he's got 1138. It's it's not even that low. Like, I've played with lower. Like, my raw Marl, for example, that I brought to tower was the 1000. The difference being is that she only cared about Frozen Shooter. Ooh, spread needle chances. Hello. Yeah. And then I can see what materials he needs to finish his build and just finish them real quick. 
Although, sadly, I think my spare materials are on my Hunu roll. Because I was looking to see how many materials I got this week, which I don't know if I finished that thought because I got distracted last time. So I moved all my materials onto the Hunu roll just to see how much in a week I would get. There's a lot of Cycle 1 chances. Nope, denied. Oh no. Chat trying to get me killed. Cool. <laughs> it's like, wait a minute. He just activated the Dark Bringer and walked away. I saw that. You gotta make sure you kill that if it activates. I unfortunately was knocked down or that would have killed me. Humor on humor violence. It's a lot of claws. Look at that cast animation. Mmm. Tell him to back up for me. There we go. about the cast animation. I don't know why he lifts his foot in general. It is very weird. Well, I would say our odds of seeing a spread needle have gone down drastically because we did lose a player. Rip. Ooh, can't quite hit the special there. Uh oh, nobody's helping me? Hello? Hello? What's... There we go. Or, or maybe there's big desync. I'm watching some the melee from like a million miles away. I guess that works. Just where evidence chat is my ne my nemesis, maybe. Where's the leader? Oh. Nope. Wow, I looked everywhere but the where the leader was. That was brutal. That, I checked literally three out of four before I realized it was the only one I didn't look at. That was brutal. I'm not gonna lie, chat. That was real brutal. Game, game, please with the Vulcan aiming. I know it can be a little tricky sometimes, but I felt a little weird. I'm gonna debuff them. Oh, they're not letting the leader unit appear. Okay, if the leader unit sound like it'd be allowed to appear, I might as well kill them at this point. There we go. Yeah, the downside is you have to wait for the freeze animation for them to die. I don't know why they do that. I don't know if that was like to prevent a bug. Because most enemies, when you freeze them and they die, they just die, but those don't. You have to wait for the freeze animation to end, which is really awkward. Oh, even with power attack, it doesn't push them back far enough. Maybe we learned in multiplayer. Single player, that would have been good enough. Okay. I'm just gonna do a quick force check. I think somebody said they had it. Oof. Empty hallway. Glad we didn't use it in here. That would have been awkward. So we at least have two people with it, so we might as well use it once we find where the actual path is. Okay, three people have it then. With our powers combined, we become an average user. 425 base defense. That's fine. Yeah, here we go. I'm gonna use it in here. There we go. Big buff time. <laughs> Got 188,000 experience so far in this run. If it wasn't for this many... Yeah, I would say this run is a little awkward without rangers. Just because of the dark gunners on Ruins 2. Ruins 1 is you could do with anybody. But Ruins 2 without any forces or anything is kind of painful, I'm not gonna lie. 
We got a freeze going. Like, if I had... I guess if I had a V5 unit, I would probably try to arrest them. Because that also allows us to target them. I don't have anything like that on this character, though. Another bot. Jeez. Which has a big problem, chat. Can we talk about this? I feel like every stream we've been seeing, like, 4 plus. Like, in the past two months. It's been really bad. I'm gonna take some big damage here, I think. Unfortunate. Chonown asks if there's an opening in the party. Uh, sure. I think we've played with you before. Welcome. We're just wrapping up a quest looking for potentially Spread Needle. We're gonna move on to Endless One. Or I might play a little character for Yellow ID. I haven't decided yet. I mean, at least this character can kind of do bosses. Just if if it's ball up, I'm just gonna roll my eyes and be like, I hope one of you can stun lock, because this character can't. I'm in the Affinia Discord, I've got a raw cast. Nice, nice. At least I can say I leveled the humor today. And then I might play a real character. <laughs> just just because I, I feel like I need to bring damage or something. Or utility. That urge to play anything other than humor is very strong. I think I did some damage there. I did some damage. So we're almost done with all the rooms. I don't think there's that many rooms left. I think we have like one room at the top. Check for boxes here. And nothing of interest, sadly, in the boxes. So yeah, let's get Shonown in and maybe Kaiser. I haven't played with Kaiser in a while. I think this might be the last room with enemies in this quest. Oh, no, no, no. I think there's two side rooms. My bad. Because I know there's one room where it just kind of meanders into the bombs. We're, we're not dealing with the, oh, no, your room is going to detonate nonsense of this quest. Then after doing maybe an endless or two, we might switch over to another. Oh, no. <laughs> that was that was the panic move or die with super buffs. Did not want to lose super buffs. Also, why is my shift to D band only saying 21? I'm a little confused. What? Wait, why is my shift to D band only 21 according to the timer? What? Did I not get the super buff when we did it in the hallway? That's kind of BS. I'm dead. I keep getting sniped by stuff full screen. Welcome, Diz. Hope you're doing well. I feel like I got cheated out of that super buff. No wonder roll my damage was kind of low. I'm gonna call that Ruins Hallway Jank. Yeah, because if you saw it, was like blinking out of existence before I died. Kind of unfortunate. I know, it's like, where was my 60 ship though? What the heck was that? Whatever game. No, on my screen it wasn't. I lost it. Like, it, it literally ticked out of existence. Uh, I think there's one more warp we can take. I just want to make sure there's no other things we can do. Might be one room here. I'm just double checking. Yeah, there's one room here. Yeah, hallway buff said no. Oh, this didn't lead anywhere. Uh, I'm going to take the warp on the other side, because I think that might lead to the area that we're looking at. Yeah, so I think what happened is because... I think because it was, like, delayed or something. Like, it didn't pick up the fact that you guys did it right away. Even though you did do it, and it showed me the animation, I didn't get the benefit. It's kind of whack. 
<laughs> like that was kind of the whole point i'm like i felt like my damage was low and then i looked up and i'm like yeah i did not receive the full buffs even though i'm at 200 iq and 120 synchro so i definitely wasn't like a mag issue unfortunate So yeah, I'll probably switch to a real character. But hey, at least I could say I played him briefly. I think we need a damage carry. And or traps. One of the above. Maybe a couple more spawns. Here we go. Last chance at Del Saber. I think what I'll do is I'll host a yellow ID, but I'll play my uh, raw cast as well. And we'll be good to go. Body. And after endless, I don't know. We'll, we'll check to see if there's anything that needs to be. Music pause at an awkward time. If there's anything we need to unlock potentially for the event. Go ahead and dodge that. He did a swing, made him pause, delayed our normals to get him stun locked. They just split up as I was about to combo them. Unfortunate. Uh, chat keeps triggering the super shots. Oh, chat, please. <laughs> please stop triggering it. <laughs> please stop using Vulcan on him. If you're not gonna kill. It's getting me killed. Rip. <sighs> yeah, it's better to use, like, a, a Galatine or, or your Excalibur. Don't use the Vulcan. Damn. Rip my buffs. Well, backswing is painful if you're being swarmed. It can be. That's why I brought a handgun. Hopefully deal with some of the claws. Because otherwise you just can't do anything. If I need to push them back at a faster rate like that. While not being stuck in place, I could do that. Uh, so when you... Every single hit you do counts towards a counter. And every time you don't kill him, it puts him in the red. But like Vulcan, a full combo is just going to make him unleash the death ray. So please do not like let him unleash the death ray. It's better just to use something that does high damage. Please stop using. Please stop using Vulcan. <laughs> unless it, unless it's uh, Dango. Dango, I don't care. But when both people are using Vulcan, like it's so bad. Because that's like three or four times so far in the run I've been hit by that, and I know it's because people are just not using Desai or anything else. A 50 hit arms, but sadly it is Riot. Yeah, because if you're only doing, like, 200 damage and he has, like, 3k plus health, like, he's going to activate it. So it's just be mindful of the counter. I don't care if you don't kill him instantly, but it's like, I, I can't have to... I don't want to be looking at the Darkbringer when we're doing runs later. I should just assume that you guys will not activate him. Because it's pretty easy not to. Deal with the Bull Claw. Got an S rank needle. Oh, so you, you you got it anyway, Kaiser. I was gonna say, do you have a full set of challenge mode weapons or something already? Get rid of these. Did level up a bit. Nice. Right, so I think there's only 
Got one real room. It's just the hippie circle. I'll take. Yeah, later I'll give this character some proper materials. I think there's just like a little mini room here. I don't remember if any monsters spawn before we touch this warp. No. Okay. That's all I wanted to verify. So run is over. Let's go switch to different character. Cool guy was training one. Nice, nice. All right, let's do a real run. Sadly, no spread needle, but we also lost the player, so rip there. Let's bring in Tankus. <laughs> it, it's time to do damage, Chan. We, we put ourselves, it was like the training weights were on. Now they're off, Chan. Serious mode engage. So I think Chonown, if you were available because you were expressing interest earlier and you have not played with us before, please let us know. Otherwise, I will probably have Diz take your place if you're not ready. Sort through. So I'm going to bring everything. Are you Michun? Nice, nice. Okay, so it'll be Kaiser. It will be potentially Dango. Chonown. Big stretch. Okay, time to take it out on this poor Endless Episode 1. I, I don't really care whatever the thing tells us to do. I'm just going for a killing spree. I just want you to know, chat, like it says avoid taking damage. Don't care. Listen, we're going to be doing the damage. As long as I get buffed every now and then, it should be fun. I don't even need super buffs. So satisfying playing Rockcast. Why can't I been? It's like night and day difference, chat. When you play like a cast versus the humor, it's so sad. Humor, please. Avoid healing. Sure, whatever. It doesn't count passive healings. So that doesn't really matter. I was gonna say charge arm, my beloved. Sure, I'll throw a fire trap down. Who cares? <laughs> like the almost horror music kicks in as we murder the forest monsters. Yeah, the XP here is super nice, as long as we have clear speed. So I was like, if we we're playing with like all max players, I'd play Humar, get him power level, but trying to carry this whole area, I don't think it's something he can do. Avoid healing again. Okay. Joke's on you. I'm going to be killing everything. Goodbye, enemies. I like that you can even do box checks in this run. The only thing that stops it from being a perfect quest is no rare enemies, but honestly, outside of like the, the rare enemy or a frozen shooter, you're not really missing that much because there's nothing in mines or ruins. And caves lily tends to be garbage anyway, as does the slime. Unless you're playing like literally purple ID. I mean, just look at this massacre. Didn't quite kill him. So I'll try to point out where the healing circles are for people that don't know where it is in the quest. We haven't come across a room that has them yet. 
If you remember the room that's usually before the forest arena, that one will have a healing circle. And then there's one in each of the areas, including the falls room and ruins. So we'll try to keep an eye out. Ideally, we'll get a reset at some point. No, so there's no, there's not going to be anything here for us, sadly. <laughs> Charge arm, you're just so disgusting. I love it. Bonk. Goodbye. I will reach out in a moment. I'm in the middle of a murder spree. Promise that was mistakes and not trolling for me during the quest. Also, stream really made the no way. Don't do that. Oh, yeah. This is uh, Endless VR. I love the VR Endless Episode 1. It's so good. It's just a lot of really fast monsters, very little downtime, and it has bosses. So if you're a character that has a good worm boss run or a good dragon run, this quest is also fun for that. So every time we hit 10, we're going to fight a boss. Don't use Vesetta. <laughs> oh, silly game. I don't care what you want me to do. I don't care about the challenge penalties. We've already failed getting to falls, so it doesn't really matter. Not that I want to fight falls on yellow ID. Didn't give you anything. So that's why it's just faster to use what you have for the speed clears. I mean, you can see we're averaging like 200 experience a second. And we haven't even fought a boss yet. And it's episode one. All those things are just ridiculous when you put them in comparison or in union with each other. Homing laser. That was gonna be the main laser. And you can see the team just has the damage now. Your crashes are getting out of hand. Did you look into the application report, Tiggy? I, I haven't had a crash so far. Right, we're definitely gonna back up and free saber or free strap this, I mean. Yeah, that way it gives chat a chance to just DPS their brains out. Like, do you have additional mods or skins, Tiggy? Because, like, I, I don't know what else would cause it to crash that often. Unless you got, like, a new setup or something. Or, um... Like, did you change, like, the, the rendering option or something? People were saying before where it was, like some issues with DirectX 11 in one of the launchers. If you remember touching something recently, or semi-recently, I would consider looking at that first. So those are the only times I could think of people were complaining about crashes. So like, oh, I tried running with this video option and it just died constantly. Avoid using Meseta. Oh yeah, this area has a healing circle, so I can just afford to go nuts if I want to. So healing circles don't appear until after you've defeated all the enemies, but... Man, it's so good. So that means I can just spam these now. Don't even have to have any timing or reservation with traps. Nice. We can see, this is just like an absolute massacre. There's nothing they could do. Especially since I effectively have infinite traps in this room. But anyway, if you thought the raw cast was, uh, if, wondering if it was strong or not. So no boxes there. So if we go towards where the door is, there should be a healing circle over here. So I'm going to go pick it up. I don't usually go to this one because it's a bit further out of the way, but it's absolutely worth it. So there's potentially up to four healing circles in the run. So definitely do not be scared to freeze trap. Which I think is really good, because you don't have to be a high-level player to still really enjoy Endless 1. It's so good. Avoid taking damage, sure. I get a spread needle in here, we'll see. And again, keep in mind, this is all without bosses. This is like so many fast badge chances. And technically, you can even just do another run after this, which I think we probably will do. So essentially, once you finish the 20, it allows you to very quickly go to the shop, and then everybody can gather near the shop, teleport to go again. 
I don't see a reason to not just go again to save time going into lobby. Because it even puts you right near the item shop in case you need to restock. It, it is just like such a good quest, honestly. <laughs> even if it has some limitations of no rare enemies. Where honestly, just pick runs to where it doesn't matter. I'm gonna pick these up. Okay, so that's now boss time. I'm gonna equip Spread Needle. Oh, I didn't swap fast enough. I was gonna say, I'm gonna equip Spread Needle because it's very likely we have to stun lock. So I might need assistance to get it going. Since I unfortunately highlighted my Spread Needle but not get into it in time. Oh well. Oh, yeah, I think I got it. I'm assuming nobody else has like the Razan or the Gazan Law. I think I could shoot him in there. There should be dead on this monitor. Eventually. I'm a little too close. I don't think I'm gonna kill him now. That was my bad. I need to back up slightly. There we go. Now I'm going to swap back into my charge arm. So typically, because there's a 1 in 3 chance it's going to be bolt op, I like to go into spread needle. But otherwise, I have cannon rouge for pot shots if it's dragon or honestly, worm boss. Seriously, you're going to cage me. So rude. Right. Oh, oh, come. Oh. I missed it by like one step. I got punished so hard, but on the plus side, I did bait the boss out into doing nothing, so that works. Just annoying when you get targeted with that. It's such a waste of time. Okay, sadly, no items of interest. Oh, photon drop. Okay, so let's continue further forward. I think this room is a healing portal. Uh-oh. We need buffs. Try to group up a little and make it easier. I think. I always get... This... The mines one always confuses me which one it is. I don't know why I freeze trapped there. That was silly. I mean, it... It kind of worked, but that's not what I was intending to do. I mean, either way, we only have eight areas left, so I can probably still go pretty free strap heavy. I'm gonna choose not to heal until I'm done with this to try to see if we could get better bonuses. I'm looking for it. I think it's. Yeah, there it is. It's in the corner. I'm gonna go ahead and do that because I want my freeze traps back. Yeah, there's two rooms that kind of look like this in mines, and I always forget which is which. Avoid using Meseta. Oh, no. This is a... <laughs> oh, no. All right, chat. That was that was a spawn. That could have been real bad. Thank you, Freeze Traps. I am surprised I dodged that dragon, to be honest with you. I thought for sure he had me. I'm going to go ahead and pop the Fire Trap just to kill the slime. I'm going to mess with him. I wonder if you can slime dupe, even if he can't normally spawn rare. Oh, full time drop. So one of these enemies drops Heaven Punisher. Chat can correct me which specific enemy in Yellow ID gets it. It might be the Grass Assassin. So even Caves is something interesting for Yellow. I don't feel like any area is like, quote unquote, a waste of time. I'm definitely picking up that PD. Avoid healing. Okay, this is another area. If you go immediately behind you, there should be a. Uh... I don't know why I did that. That was poor aiming on my part. Just get. Why does he keep turning around? Stop that. Stop him, please. <laughs> it's like I'm like, wait a minute. I'm holding forward and he aim backwards. Auto aim, please. It is the assassin. Thank you. So this, uh, this room will also have a healing circle, so feel free to go nutso with freeze traps. It's going to be in the upper left of this door. 
So knowing where the healing circles are definitely makes the run a lot smoother. As I said before, if you don't care about reaching falls, it's just a fast quest with different bosses. I mean, you can see we're at like 203 or 213 XP a second, which is not bad. But if you just want to fight like a raw number of enemies and potentially hunt badges, it's not a bad quest. I mean, people will still probably do things like Terrell's Ego, of course. But when you get really bored of Terrell's Ego, it's nice to have backups. Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and walk over to the Healing Circle. having a nice little murder fest. Don't mind me. Sometimes with PB Create, it is possible to cap Photon Blast. You, normally, I'm spamming so much charge moves, it's very hard for me to build meter, even though I do like a million damage. Because those don't generate you meter. Plus, if I'm Freeze Trap spamming, then basically that means that most of the time I'm not getting hit anyway. So, it's more just the power attacks in between the charge shots that'll build meter. Okay. The price you pay. Literally and figuratively. Mm. I'm gonna go ahead and freeze the Sinnoh Red for the team. Auto aim, please. Auto aim, please. What was that? Those moments where you're holding left and it just snapped you. It's just like, why does that happen? The downside of the charge arm. Maybe I should get a Baran's launcher. Let's get a narrow item for some of these end areas. Um, probably just charge Vulcan you from existence. Assert dominance. Shoot them with the uh, other thing. Uh. As long as we hit the lilies every now and then, I guess it's not a big deal. Yeah, and we saw on stream, I believe it was Diz that got the Heaven Punisher from the Grass Assassins here. So we have seen this quest pay off big time before. Kind of nice. I also like this a little more than a traditional boss quest, because I feel like most of the time, like, people will want to go to the end of TTF, and that has, like, a pretty high requirement for newer players. But, like, a lot of these are just going to be, like, forests and caves. The yeah, ruins can be a little difficult, but I don't think it's harder than just expecting to survive or deal with the falls in a typical run. So many badge chances, chat. Yeah, like, I don't need to worry about if people have, like, Cannon Rouge on Dragon or, you know, they have, like, the best possible charge arm. Just like just do some AoE. I mean, just common enemies. And there's not like a whole bunch of what I call problem enemies in the run, other than maybe like the sorcerer Andy Bilber room, or like Falls' final room. Those are the closest to like a quote unquote problem room. And most of the time, it'll be like a single Barans over here, for example. And again, it's just it's just single Barans. It's not even like quintuple Barans or like Barans and five Sino or like something silly. And I like pretty tame. And plus, every single one of these areas has a box drop. And I do feel like some of the box drops in this game are actually pretty good. In particular, uh, Yellow ID has some very surprisingly good ones. So whenever we go through the section ID one, I am updating uh, the section ID guide to talk about box drops a little more specifically. Because I do think there are. Oops, somebody got a heart of item. Nice. I do think there are some very powerful box drops to be considered when you do run. And I feel like it is worth bringing up in some scenarios. Like, probably the most probably common one, I would say, is that most people know that basically every ID gets Photon Crystal, for example, in Episode 4 uh, from all the boxes. But from the standpoint of, like, other runs, like, knowing which... IDs potentially give you like Disco of Brave Man's, like the red and the white IDs. Just kind of help push certain quests a little higher, in my opinion. 
So when we talk about that in more detail with the section ID guide, I think it'll be interesting discussion for sure. Does quests like this lend you to like, do you have good overall rares? So I think, for example, if you're doing like episode two, I think there are some really, really good box drops for yellow and a few decent ones for pink throughout. So some of those might weight the uh, episodes a little differently. In fact, we haven't done an episode two endless in a long time. I kind of missed that quest. But I, I probably just play yellow, blue, or uh, white into it, to be honest. I guess it's how unlucky do I think I am to fight a million ill gills <laughs> is the question. Okay, last floor. Go crazy with traps. Because the next run is just going to be a boss run. If we want, we can super buff. But I mean, like, the odds are it's it, between dragon and worm boss. Like, do we really need to buff up for them? Do we? <laughs> like, I, I think we'll be fine. Oh, a photon draw. I don't think we do. It like it might be worth it for like ball up, don't get me wrong, but like for those bosses, nah. The animation's gonna last longer than the boss. So that's where I think potentially where we we're talking about before, like off meta items. I think PB crate is like godlike in this quest in particular. But it's not an item I would run like all the time. I'm just gonna equip Cannon Rouge, because no matter what, I'm gonna be able to hit the boss with Cannon Rouge. I don't care if it's Dragon Boss or whatever. Somebody needs to activate the portal. Yeah. So it's like, I know it can't repeat bosses, and I know it can't be falls. Oh. Vocals can't do that. Oh, no. Can we get out of the singing minigame stuff? Yeah, this dragon is ultra dead. There, there's no point to buffing for dragon boss. I can see argument for Volt Op, though. boss is getting hard bullied. Is every single one of these vocals? Oh, I almost got the glitch. It was very close. So sad. So for those don't, that don't know, I'm going to remind you. In the animation between him standing up and him going into the roar, there's a brief window where if you hit during that time period, he will actually take damage and potentially just die instantly, depending on how much damage you do there. So you can see his health bar flicker on the HP reader. That means we were very close. Like, we were, like, only a few frames off, kind of close. All right, so I'm just going to wait over here. I'm just going to do another run. I don't see a reason in leaving the quest yet. So I pause the timer by leaving, since I don't care about the boxes and dragon. But if you need to restock, now's the time. I don't know if this would trigger a copyright. I'll let it play for now. But we're nearing the end of the Yakuza 5 soundtrack. Oops. <laughs> We get to go in our fancy disco room as we wait for other players. Look at the disco chat. It's a happy little disco. So just make sure to use the yellow wharf that's uh, near the item shop, and then we can continue. Let's take an angry sound while I'm waiting. An angry sound. Hello? Oh, he has no angry sound. Oh, that's sad. Thought he did. Just has the, the the hands emote. Unfortunate. There we go. Just. I guess it was just our, our little waiting place. So we need to get rebuffed, and we'll be good to go. Thank you. Thank you. So just make sure to go near the Hugh Newell. Some love. Or raw moral, excuse me. I saw level 20. I was half paying attention. There we go. And our team is strong enough that we don't even really need to Zalur anything, which is nice. And that's the thing, too, where, like, 
if we had like a force or something like that, we would be able to potentially carry lower level party members, but level 20 shift to D-band is so strong in this group that we don't need debuffs. We just do so much damage and so many status ailments. Just disgusting amounts of damage. Go another floor. Avoid using Masetta. I got bad news for you. I'm going to ignore that challenge. Oh, how did that miss? No, 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 no. No lyrics. <laughs> it's like the Incredibles no cape. I'm like, no lyrics. You can't do lyrics. You can play for a couple seconds. I don't think that'll be a problem. We, we gotta catch that if we can. The problem is that since we're in like the dancing stuff, a lot of them are likely to have lyrics. Out of here. Frozen in a way that I can't hit them. It's so sad. Deal with these guys real quick. Nicely done. Avoid taking damage, sure. And you'll see that like the room order is random, but the rooms themselves are set. So once you see a room, you're like, oh, I remember this room. So it's it's like semi-random at least. Bronze bad. Sure, I'll take one of those. Goodbye, dragon. Now must perish. <laughs> Just constant gunshots everywhere. Like an actual massacre. Nice frozen shooter. Goodbye, Nano Dragon. No hitting other players. Avoid using the setup. No, oh, that's not gonna happen. I don't have like a Berserk arm on this character. This mode does reward you for having different challenge weapons, so if you're able to reduce their health in other ways, like a Berserk Needle, for example, it would be very rewarding. That is a ultra dead group. Damn, no escape dolls still? Unfortunate. I was thinking one of us would see one by now. We killed over 100 today so far. Unfortunate. <laughs> 61 uses of Masetta used. Yeah, that's, that sounds about right. I like that even solo, the quest isn't even that bad for casts. Because you could just confuse trap and get your traps back constantly. And I like too that the timer adjusts depending on how many players you have. So you have like a much higher starting total if you're by yourself for clears, which I think is nice. And then obviously if you're by yourself, it's also easier to make sure that nobody fails the challenge. The only ones that are kind of hard when it's like take no damage and then it's like... Ruins nonsense. When it's take no damage and it's like forest, you're like, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> like free, freebie. <laughs> Mines can also be kind of annoying for no damage. It says a silver badge drop, but I only see a bronze badge. Did I? Maybe I missed it on the other floor. Am I, am I hallucinating, chat? I don't see anything on the minimap. Weird. Unless somebody just picked it up. It, it disappeared, so I guess somebody picked it up. Maybe they were just making room for something. The item reader was confused. I don't think we did this room last time. As I said, there's still some rooms we haven't seen. By Milk Weeks. So we're not guaranteed to get all healing circle rooms. It's nice when it happens, though. Then we just go crazy. No. <laughs> just like... Void healing. Okay, that's doable. Yeah, the big one is just mostly remembering where the dark bringers are. These guys are really annoying, and then the no damage challenge here is also really annoying. 
I think this is probably the worst room for both of those. Okay, can we get out of the singing minigame stuff? Okay, I'm gonna go really far down. <laughs> Are we out of the minigame stuff yet? Oh, no, no, no. Come on, Yakuza 5. Unfortunately, there's a big segment in Yakuza 5 where you have to play as another character who has nothing but idle minigames. Needless to say, I wasn't thrilled <laughs> I'm that portion of the game. So there are a lot of songs from that section of the game. It sounds like we exited that chapter, at least. I'm going to do box checks. Sadly. Alright, so I think the Del Sabers are at the other end of the room. Yeah. I think they were just near the door. We just didn't spawn them. Just fine. Another chance at a cycle wand. More chances at thread needle. I actually might die if I get hit again. But I don't want to heal until I'm done with this. Uh, now I want to heal. death. Oh, it's this room again, you know? It's like, this room is very interesting the first time you come in here. I like to hide in the corner. Wait, how did I not freeze the guy that was closest to me? Wait. Did he, oh, maybe the slow-mo trap freedom. I'm like, wait a minute. <laughs> Something didn't check out there. Yeah, this room could also be slightly annoying if you don't have a, a trap user. Because when the slime spawns in the middle, not really much you can do about it with most characters. Oh, other room has it, my bad. Never mind, ignore me. There's two rooms that look similar. Oh, uh, we're here again. So I know I'm getting a guaranteed freeze trap reset. I'm just gonna go spam them. Yeah, the other hard part about the no damage challenge is making sure you're not where a held out will spawn. Otherwise, just go wild. Look at this clear speed. We're just straight bullying. Oh, I got clipped there, so I would have failed the no damage challenge. Damn, poor all. Uh, I'm gonna go get my traps reset. Perfect. Mm, one in three. What are the odds of it starting vault up again? Probably pretty high. I'll have to get buffed up again. Chat dancing. This one is called... Enormous Gun Salutes. What a song title. Some of the song names or something are very interesting. Oh, we didn't fight you last time. Well, actually, I don't, know, I don't really have a good weapon for this. I don't have a uh, Excal on me. I always can in Rouge. I guess spread needle could work. Oops. Already dead. Yeah, I keep forgetting. I took his Excal off to give to somebody else. I'm just gonna wait it out. Goodbye, Worm Boss. <laughs> you were dead 15 seconds ago. You just didn't realize it. Nice little instant box burst. I'll take the boss money for sure. Holy Ray, nice. Weight taking damage. Just for us. Yeah, this the no damage challenge when you're playing with the forest is hilarious, by the way. You're like, oh no, however will I deal with the gelin? <laughs> Just 
And then like all the casts are basically immune to everything prior to mines and even most enemies in mines to be honest. They're like, yeah, just gotta look out for set damage. That's about it at that point. That was such a fast room. Void healing. Kind of annoying, but it could probably do it. I'm gonna lure them in a way that I can hit all of them with the one freeze trap. Good movement. 45 hit club. Eh. Spawned a bit of an awkward spot, but this should still work. I'm gonna choose to come more to the sides here. I can make sure I don't line up with anybody in particular. Nice level up. That's another way to trap Risa. Nicely done, nobody healed. Yeah, that added 90 seconds by itself, which is pretty good. Void healing <laughs> in forest, sure. Pretty easy. The worst though is if somebody's the worst part is when somebody doesn't realize there's no healing challenge and they resta and they cause everybody to fail. <laughs> this cause it accounts each individual instance of heal. That one's brutal. That one makes me sad every time. I actually have Magblast. If chat has any meter, we might as well do it. Uh, two people are at 100? Yeah, we should just activate it. We're gonna hit the Rappies first. If I go down, I'm taking you all with me, yeah. The most spiteful- yeah, that's- that's the- that's one of the times you control with Resta outside of Dark Flow. <laughs> Heal the Dark Flow user in the No Heal Challenge. Next level trolling. Alright, this should be some massive damage, chat. Holy. What are they even gonna do about this? I'm a raw cast with 65. Look how little damage they did to me when they hit me. Yeah, they're so done. <laughs> right, chat? Done. Go ahead, summon Vault up next, I dare you. The boss is so dead if it happens. Yeah, so we started peaking over 230 experience a second, which is really good. So again, good XP, but also just lots and lots of enemies to kill. It's pretty fast pace, which is why I like this one a lot. It's like there's not a lot of downtime in between waves, yet there's also points where it can be safe if you need a breather. enemies within 60 seconds. Sure. Hey, new room. Look at that, chat. It's keeping things fresh. Yeah, there's little penalties. The game will basically try to make it harder the longer you go for it. Something we didn't see so far, actually, surprisingly, is, uh, oops, I meant to do that, is the ability to, yeah, rip the super buffs, is that sometimes you have a chance of becoming invincible, which is also a big reason why some of these rooms are not a big deal. We didn't get lucky. We ha I don't think we've seen it activate so far. We'll get like that episode two kind of glow around us when it occurs. So it's just like, not only is it just like a really fast quest, but then like you could just be invincible randomly in like harder rooms. Sadly, it has not happened here, but it's very useful when it does. Oh, that Sinnoh Blue almost thought it could get to me. I tried. It's like, maybe I have a chance. Except I already put the freeze trap where he was gonna be. So much damage. Can you imagine if it's Dragon at the end with the super buffs? I almost feel bad for him. I'm assuming Chad is the Baran. See, I'm not even gonna bother turning around. I believe in you, chat. Void death? Okay. 
This is another pretty easy one to avoid. Avoid death is also kind of a freebie when you're high level. Avoid healing in forest is free for basically everybody. Alright, so we only have two areas left, so I might as well just spam freeze traps forever. So you can see the power of just like two casts just completely locking down this entire area. And then we have like really good support damage. Like we have single target from the Humar, and then we have more more pew pew guns <laughs> with another ranger. So between all of those elements, everything just dies so quickly. So I have like five freeze traps I can use here pretty safely. Or just look at this clear speed. Like, we, uh, we almost passed 250 experience a second on episode 1, which is very rare outside of TTF. I'm just going to shoot my own fire trap. I don't really care. I didn't see where it spawned. I kind of forgot. Nice and easy. Nice, another 90 seconds added. We went from 5 minutes left to 7 minutes. That's how you can tell we got the easy challenges. The don't use Masetta, I feel a little bad for. I should probably get like a Berserk Needle, as I said before. Just for this quest. Where I feel like it would actually genuinely be useful. Or like a high hit Berserk Arm, I guess, would also suffice. I very rarely see an arm with Berserk. I see like a million charge arms. But not usually Berserk. Oh, we still have... We have more buff timer than minutes left on the clock. That's always a nice one. Because the thing you have to think about is like... If it's going to take you 30 more seconds to clear, is it super worth not using charge? Sometimes you'll just take, like, a small time loss. Uh, I dare it to be ball up. He's so dead if it is. Dragon boss is just gonna get dumped on. Oh, this boss is done. <laughs> right, chat? Ball up when we're in our, our almighty state. GG. I should be able to stun lock here. We should be good. I have spread needle this time. If this thing gets more than one attack, I'd be very surprised. here. No attacks there. You might overkill too quickly. We kind of did, but it's fine. The delete button is about to be applied. Goodbye, ball up. Don't you dare, if you laser me, I swear. Well, I can see the dark flow damage. Goodbye. Do a quick box check. I'm gonna go step through to cancel it, that way the timer pauses. See, as long as one of us goes through there, room clear time decreased. I guess we could just turn it in. Room clear time decreased is kind of annoying, actually. Get rid of the ray gun. Alright, so stock up and then we'll hand in the quest. So based off of how long we go, we get more and more cash, by the way. So all those points we built up go in towards the Masetta reward, which is kind of nice if you've been spamming charge shot the entire time like I have. You're like, you'll take any kind of discount you can on the quest. So yeah, we ended at pretty much 250 plus experience a second, which... Again, outside of like an episode for really stacked quest or TTF or RT. There's not really much competing with this. It's just really great for leveling on the way up. Yeah, 25,000 Nesetta. Not bad. I have the penalty that I used. <laughs> I only lost 20k instead of uh, 40,000 plus. <sighs> okay. So I'm gonna say, Murphy, if you want to join us, Dango, if you mind drop Oh, you'll actually, Chonan's going to open their spot. Disregard then. Murphy, if you would like to hop in and take Chonan's place. Is there anybody else that's looking to hop in out of curiosity? 
I'm gonna be fair to the players that are winning. Yeah, now we're gonna get Murphy's level 30 buff, <laughs> so I'm expecting some big damage. Or poor quest. So we'll do one more of these, and then we might switch over to uh, something else. No worries, take some time. So I would like to get one of these items at some point. No worries, thank you, thank you. 2.4 mil to 200, nice. <laughs> so we'll have Dango, then there'll be Dango Bot with the Hue cast. <laughs> Honestly, I'm half tempted to RT just for Galatine, but uh... You cast level 65. Dango, do you need to get power boosted? We we can help you, Dango. You'll be at like your 200 Humor's attack power at like 110. It'll be fine. Don't need, but definitely want. Sounding <laughs> like an intervention? Maybe. We could power level Dango real quick. It's fine. Dango and Chain, there we go. That's a good one, Tiggy. I like that. So yeah, we'll do one of these. Maybe we'll just help Dan go out. I don't mind getting Ignition Cloak, honestly. Listen, it's still a valid run. I just have to play Blue ID, that's all. So we'll do one more of these, and then I think next time we play, which will be tomorrow, by the way, uh, we'll be doing probably just some quick runs. I'm hoping I can beat a Vivian with 15 dark. Like, like, we're talking real low ball chat. I'm not even talking Vivian with hit. I'm talking like literally anything that is not all zero. <laughs> some of my weapons are like actually astoundingly terrible. And it makes playing as those characters very difficult, unfortunately, due to that reason. So, like, a Terrell's Ego by hiding Gibbles or something could be nice for me. Galatine by doing Episode 4 or just more RTs. But, like, we'll get some opportunities, for sure. Oh boy, the Zalora is active. Goodbye, Sinnoh Blue. The era of you damaging me is over. I'm gonna move. Eh, I'll take some damage there, that's fine. I'm like, as long as it doesn't kill me, I, I think I'm fine. I'll take little chip damage. There we go. Nice and simple. Uh, uh, yeah, this is a healing circle. I guess I can take it. Saves me a try, right? Close enough. Avoid death and forest? I hope so. <laughs> right, chat? That, that's one of those ones where you're like, you really hope so. Storm wands. Don't need those. But it's always worth checking boxes, because those are extra PD chances. Uh, yellow ID in episode 2 in particular gets a surprising amount of barriers and useful items. I think that's something that I want to bring up for sure in the section IDs. Pink ID, like I think most people know, will have access to like a million amplifiers, but <laughs> manual breathing challenge. But I, I think from the standpoint of just regular boxes, there are a surprising number of good ones that even I kind of forget about because I'm like, oh, they can get those. Just like, like he here's here's a PSO knowledge challenge. Can chat tell me what IDs from boxes get 13? That's the kind of stuff where I think people just don't know, and I think it is kind of interesting when you compare it to like the overall brown <laughs> Bolello. I know Sky ID does. Yeah, like it's not white ID, but it's like it's one of those ones where there's, you know, a little extra value, and I think people do sleep on some of the box run. Like, not to do a box run of it, but to open boxes during the quest. I think people just don't realize like that extra value that's there. Oh, there's the invincibility I was talking about earlier. So as long as this is around our feet, I, we literally can't take damage. 
So, like, this makes, like, dark flowing in this area so easy. Like, you just, le you legit can't die while it's active. Which is, like, a blessing if you're going for that kind of route. The timing of it is a bit variable, but the fact that you could get, like, two waves in and just be invincible is hilarious. So those are the kinds of things I kind of want to bring up to bring attention to it. Like, in particular, like, there's a lot of, like... Like, I forgot that Pink ID got Disc of Brave Man from boxes. I'm just like, really? I'm like, interesting. I mean, it would explain some things. But yeah, it's just kind of one of those things that's just kind of tucked away there. So I very rarely venture into the uh, item list at the bottom. And it would explain why Pink ID Forest is like so busted. Or not forest, uh, jungle. There's just so many items on top of the monster hunts. So some of that will be in determination. I think we're talking about like IDs per or quests per IDs, I mean. So if chat has their own favorite quests on certain IDs, I definitely want to hear it. I probably won't be doing like a dedicated quest video, other than we did one for like when you're climbing what quests to consider. But like useful ones to know, like the shop guide stuff. But I think in terms of like ultimate quests, a lot of the time is just gonna be like do this quest because it has a high monster count. And like to some extent, I want to give some guidance to players that are trying to figure out what to do when they get into ultimate. But like honestly, th there's so many like one-off quests that I just... Outside of like that specific item hunt is usually not worth running. So I'm trying to cover more... I would say solid quests or quests that you might not realize are good as new players. Like introducing, for example, Cal's Clock Challenge for people to do on blue ID very hard or doing it on like pink ID ultimate for example or talking about like TTF IDs for the you know semi meta quests or like what quest should potentially do the episode or boss rush quests or like why do people play point of disaster you know what I mean because a lot of people just don't know Newer players, that is. Uh, older players, definitely, for sure. They should know. <laughs> they, they probably done, like, millions of runs. So I just want to make sure that information is there for them to realize, like, oh, people pick purple ID because you're doing Heaven Striker, but you could also get these runs while well, it's rare enemy and stuff like that. So just that they're kind of thinking about it. Just put it in the mind's eye, as it were. You know, we could bring up niche runs every now and then, or, like, ones that are, like, not technically high value. By the way, there's a healing circle over here. Uh, like, I don't know, like, offhand, like, sweep up Operation 9 for V502. Like, there's some, we're, like, doing resets of, like, Gal Devel in Episode 2 for V502 for Green ID. Like, there's some ones I, I kind of view as, like, more iconic than others, and I think are somewhat fun. I don't know how much I'm going to mention things like War of Limits 1, where I personally really don't like the quest other than it might go into, like, an honorable mention section. But I do want to make sure for people that are looking for, like, quote-unquote value runs to have, like, a... There's some of the best quests of the episode across all IDs. But at the same time, I want to make sure that, like, oh, I'm playing orange ID. So what kind of quests might I expect to run in orange ID? So I kind of want most of those questions answered in that guide. And that's why the guide is going to be very, very long. I'm going to just split it up into two videos minimum. Even when we're recording it, I think it's going to take more than one session to get through. So I'm thinking potentially later this week I might do it, but it is during the event. If I'm feeling PSO'd out, I'd rather just do that guide then. Let's see where it goes. But I want to make sure, because a lot of people are still asking. Like, I, I get asked pretty frequently on YouTube, for example. Not even necessarily in Twitch chat. Like, oh, I just left ultimate, or I just left very hard mode, so what do I do? So I just want to make sure that that information is there for them. And people have, like, their, their hidden texts or, like, their... I wish people played more of this quest moment. I want to bring it up. Like, I'm even going to bring up things like playing, um free mode seabed into respective tomorrow for example is like my favorite combination of quests in the game where you could take that super buff from doing just a normal free room which is pretty rewarding in itself due to the drops and then using that to power through rt hilariously quickly so that way you don't necessarily need hell or like super equipment 
I feel like I'm probably gonna get bowl up. Yep. Damn chat. <laughs> I felt that in my heart. The call out is real. <laughs> like, listen. I'm putting that spread needle on. I'm not falling for your shenanigans. I guess if Murphy has the stun lock, I'll let him do it. We'll see. I'll slow it down for Murphy. Ah. Uh, that's fun. I think he has it now. Oh, we're not. There we go. Nope, never mind. I'm just gonna finish it off. There we go. Oh, I will say, the only thing I was happy about before is because Red Ring filled out my character slots on the Huniworld, it was easier for me to equip V801 to use her absolutely garbage tier uh, Galatine and kill a uh, Vol Up. Because I decided to just finish my levels with a blue ID TTF. Because I didn't really care if I got Red Ring. I just wanted to see how much damage she did. Like, oh no, I got the Defoton Core or whatever it's called. Who cares? <laughs> I'm like, I just want that XP. Chat to boot in a little bit. There we go. Reason to death is a true combo. Nice. I guess in positive news, I will be going on vacation soon. And the vacation is intended mostly to play PSO, at least the first few days. So we're going to probably be doing a very long stream on Wednesday. I haven't de I guess depending on how PSO'd out I feel, it will determine whether or not I feel like doing Friday. Nice invincibility again on the Brands wave, which is kind of important. Freeze trap, please. Well, good thing we were invincible. Yeah, so far, I, I started adding box runs, which I, not box runs, I started talking about box drops in general, to guide it and put it all in one kind of tight area. And then the other thing that I'm doing is I go through, like, ooh, blue barrier. Speaking of uh, yellow ID drops that are useful, those barriers are kind of nice. Yellow ID seems to have a pretty high number of them compared to some of the other IDs. It's not unheard of to actually get useful ones. But yeah, uh, I basically started breaking it down so that way, like, I talk about what I feel are, like, the strong ideas for the class in any given area, and then I do, like, an overall summary. So the overall summary, I don't go into the items more specifically, since I'm more just kind of picking, like, the best of the best, or, like, combining things like boss drops and normal drops. So I feel like I reduced some redundancy with it. So I took chat's advice for the most part there. From the other stream. Come on, spread needle. <laughs> gonna say last chance for spread needle of the night. Then we're gonna power level Dango. I guess in theory, we, we could in theory cookie run Dango. It, its only purpose is the power level, to be fair. I don't normally want to do a cookie in this event, but at the same time I'm like, hmm, maybe for a power level. I don't want to do it just for normal gameplay, but if it means Dango gets another character, I consider it. Big number get bigger. I mean, it's true. It's already pretty good. 
I'm hopefully going... Oh, I left a Grants behind. I can't believe I did that. The level your humor, Arthur Space. Yeah, we can figure out who needs to level characters. I'm sure... Promethea would be happy to see us doing a cookie run. <laughs> or the baker. Yeah, definitely was not intending to ever do it, but if it means more help in the long run, I'm okay with it. I just don't I definitely do not want to do like a 1 to 80 with my characters. That that'll be like between events. But if it's just like two cookie runs, that's fine. Boom, boom, boom. I'm at 100 meter, by the way. We still have a couple areas left. It might be worth it. As long as somebody else has it, we should be good. Go to one more room for Dango. And then we'll enjoy it for like three rooms, and then whatever boss we're gonna fight is about to be murdered. Which to be fair. <clears throat> it would still be useful in Worm Boss, it just be useful in Dragon Boss. Poor Dragon Boss would get absolutely dumpstered. <laughs> it it does it doesn't need us the buff. Hopefully you're doing well, Diz. We haven't played with you in a while. Yeah, we tried grabbing some spread needles, but we got kind of unlucky. Between uh, the disconnects earlier, just generally not seeing any. Glad you're doing well. By enemies. Or Dango's meter go off, and Dango confirmed it was him. Goodbye, Nano Dragon. You're so dead. You're so dead. I'm gonna say eating twin. I'm gonna say Murphy's character's been leveling pretty steady already, 167. I'm gonna make the FOMAR life much better. Every ATP matters. Oh, I'm gonna shut this room down for sure. Oof. The Zalore? Disgusting damage. Legit doing like 1300 without crit. Bronze badge, I probably want that. Oops. Aiming fail. Items while I'm waiting. I almost killed the sorcerer in time. I was so close. I was like the furthest away from it. I still, I still got it, but slightly too slow. Avoid death. Just mill Lily. I don't really care. Avoid this. Yeah, we're probably going to do at least one more loop, and then we'll do, uh, Dango leveling. <laughs> wow. Literally killing in two buttons. That's disgusting. Boom. Alright, where did they spawn? Was it the corners? It was the corners. We'll find out eventually. I'm just going to run around. Okay, it was the corners. <laughs> I always miss where they spawn, because I'm looking at other things. Should probably rewatch the VOD and double check. So much time just got re added. We're at 10 minutes still. Disgusting. I guess when I'm this buffed, I also don't technically need to use Masetta and I don't use Masetta Challenge. 
Like, they're gonna die in a combo pretty much regardless, especially after Zalor. So much damage. Oh, I'm out of free straps. That's awkward. Well, I guess that's the alternative to uh, dealing with Sorcerer. Just kill him before he could do anything. Goodbye, Dill Saber. Wow, another 90 seconds. Disgusting. Uh, no matter what, I'm gonna equip Cannon Rouge here. Since if it's Worm Boss or Dragon, both of them get bodied. Oh no, super buff on Dragon. GG chat, it's over. <laughs> so sad. Poor Dragon Boss. Bonk. <laughs> oh no. Here comes the damage. I'm sorry, was that just doing... Yeah, that was. I think this will literally one-shot the dragon right now. I'm doing 900 per hit, so it would be 4,500 by itself with no crits. Oh, I think I got it. It's really close if I didn't get it. I didn't get it, damn. So close. I had to work on that timing. Goodbye, dragon boss. We got 208 experience a second. We killed the dragon. It jumped to 228. Not bad. Pause the timer by leaving early. I accidentally picked up junk, so I'm just gonna leave it here because I don't need it. I'm gonna go to the shiny lobby. I can do little salutes as I wait. I can shrug, look at chat. There we go. So I can switch back to charger on while I'm waiting. So yeah, just in that one run, 262,000 experience. And that's that's a lot for newer players. I mean, I know some of it is like the fact that we're getting XP boosted, but still, it would be over 100 XP a second. 50% experience, it would be closer to 160 experience. I'm like, I'm pretty happy with this. Sadly, not a lot has dropped. Even though yellow has a ton of really good drops, we haven't seen any... Pretty much any of the crazy rares. Definitely no Ubers. Or Forest. Yeah, it'll be Operation Level Dango after this one. And maybe we'll end with like a TTF or something, depending on how late it gets. Since at least I don't have work tomorrow, so I don't mind it going a little late today. Otherwise, normally, I'd be like, hmm, wrapping up, but now it doesn't matter. Another 90 seconds added. Wow. Avoid using Masetta. You know what? I'll go for the challenge. It's just forest. This is an example where I don't think I'm really losing much time by obeying it. If it's in forest, I'll do it. If it's, like, ruins, I'm like, hell no. I'm not doing power attack only. You're out of your mind. But this one, that's not too bad. Yeah, there we go. Let's get more money for us at the end. So I save money and I earn money. I need to remember, I need to always turn around here so I can catch the Darkbringer. It's a little thing that I can do to uh, improve my performance in this quest. This is probably one of the few ones where I feel like if you don't know he's there, it leads to a lot of problems. Just like when you kill this next upcoming wave, the sorcerer is going to teleport behind one player. It's usually player one. Like, I can predict that I can put a freeze trap here and potentially freeze them. And the worst that happens is if he's not close enough, I just stop the things from hitting me. That poor uh, Dildy got murdered. I already know I can get my freeze traps back, which is super gross. I might as well ask. Nice photon draw. One, two, 
one penalty. I'll take the freeze trap back though. So you can see like with the force, the no damage challenges are much easier to pass to the point that we're at 12 minutes extra. So I think forces are still useful. And definitely if you're playing like a real support force, you can actually like double up on PB crates or like PB increases if you're able to make those. And it just leads to like the stupidest damage outputs you've ever seen in this quest. Like this is one of the quests where I think uh, mag blasting is really useful, but that's on the condition that at least one person has a PB create. And honestly, I could probably put on a PB create. I don't remember how much I need to cap my uh, heaven ATP. Yeah, like in like five levels, I could just be running a PB create. Because most of the time you're going to be spending like 9 to 12 minutes in a run, right? And in that time, that's a lot of free PB. So the earlier you can get it, the better. I used to run this on Anguish. I'm sad that we it's not really worth running on Anguish. But in theory, you could run this whole quest on Anguish mode if you wanted to. Aw, oh, damn, no enemy spawning for me when that happens. There we go. Hated by spawn. They were just forever spawning, never spawned though. There we go. Nice and simple cleanup. Almost back up to 13 minutes. Avoid taking damage. Um, Sure. Thank you, Freeze Trap. I'm about to take damage. Oh no, I blocked. It got debuffed. The Jelen matters. <laughs> the Jelen saving bad gameplay. So I have 577 or 575 base defense. Plus I have red ring. Plus I have real armor on. So like the odds of me taking damage from them after Jelen is pretty low. This cast natural defense is just so high. Like if I was a faux new roll, I definitely would have still taken damage, but not this character. Especially not after red ring. The most I can really do is just kind of freeze trap and slow them down. Maybe it'll give us the bonus, we'll see. Oh, we took damage. Yeah, I mean, like 1500 defense, that's crazy. Void death, okay. I'm gonna pull them over here. Cleaner shot for me. That way I can help the group like that. Those Dark Hunters got deleted. Goodbye. There we go. All the problems shut down. Sorcerers don't get to do anything. It's just a clean sweep. We're already at almost 350,000 experience in one quest, which is insane. Avoid using Masetta. You know what? I'll humor you. I'll humor you. I want some money. They're at least being debuffed. I can handle those. <laughs> it's like I'm using charge shots without the debuff. Yeah, this is, forest is probably the, where I can tame my uh, urge to murder with money. <laughs> Maybe caves, maybe. It depends on what cave it is. If it's like the lily rooms, where it's all close quarters, I'm like, no, nah, I'm charge arming. If it's like wide open, I don't mind. So we're gaining time on this quest, which I find hilarious. Uh, I'm gonna wait for the uh, Raffies to pop up. There's a little bit of time for that, but that's fine. Oh, I heard a rare, I got excited. Happy, please. Uh, I'll leave that in my material. I don't really care. Void death? Sure. Goodbye, enemies. I was gonna say, oh, Dark Gunner, I was never gonna let you go. <clears throat> Another PD. Nice. 
I forgot to keep track of how many I've gotten in the event so far, but I have picked up at least eight. <clears throat> wow, we're, we're, we're going money positive, or time positive, I mean. Aw, oh, this boss. At least we should have damage. I think Murphy's got an Excal or something. Yeah. I'll just do what I can here. That is much faster. <laughs> it's like, yeah, the real Excal unlock? Yeah, that was much faster. Goodbye, Worm Boss. Oh, oh, holy rain no hit. Come on, game. Don't tease me. I'm not even picking that up. That's just disappointing. Picked up golds as well, which people trade one to one for PD. Yeah, I'm not getting rid of my gold badges. I, I very rarely trade anything out. I'm definitely not getting rid of those. I'm gonna photon sphere with those. That Baran's died before the freeze trap went off. That was kind of gross. Like, I went to turn to shoot the brands, and I'm like, he's already dead. Now their invincibility up. Actually kind of insane. No, I can't hit him. Stop freezing him. Can't hit him. There we go. Yeah, that's the downside. If you do, like, too early of a freeze, it is possible to just make it so other players can't hit him. You'll see that a lot in Episode 2, which is really annoying. That the game behaves that way. Avoid taking damage. Okay. Well, I get my freeze traps back. Oh, I took damage. I'm dead. Bad pathing. Also, I don't want to be here because of full delts. Yeah. Oops. Not paying attention. But that's fine. We could go get our freeze traps back. Yeah, once I got hit twice, it didn't matter anymore. At the minimum time. I'm gonna come over here. I'm assuming Chad has the last enemy. There we go. And 99 meter. Uh, no. <laughs> right? Well, I mean, I guess now that they're frozen, maybe, but I don't expect them the long term. As I said before, I want to fail it. Oh, I got frozen in a weird way. I want to fail the challenges because I don't really want to fight falls on Yellow ID. But I don't mind passing them for money after we failed a certain amount. That I don't care about. I need to make sure I'm not lined up with anybody after this next skill. I'm gonna come all the way over here. Ensure that I'm not lined up with anybody. And I'm gonna go Vulcan these things down, I think. Kills there, not too bad. I don't know where the sorcerer is. Oh, he's already dead. Wait, healing? Sure. I'm like, jokes on you, game. I, I only take incidental healing and maybe healing circle healing. I very rarely use an item when I'm playing this mode. In fact, I don't even think I've used a Trimate so far this entire run, or Dimate. You don't need to. There, there's such good placement of the healing circles. Just power through. Look at that, chat. We've almost received half a million experience. That means Dango is probably approaching the two mil mark as we speak. Avoid healing, okay. Joke's on you, don't care. 1.9, nice. 
by robots. Which I could technically check for rare mag colors here, I suppose. Aren't you feel wet? But, but also, I would say, to reply to the minus sexist comment earlier, I haven't picked up any golds today. Today has been really dry. In fact, the I haven't picked up any gold since last session, I don't think. Even off-stream, I haven't picked up a gold badge. I, I upgraded silver badges, but that's not the same. Hi. Right. I think we can use... There we go. So we get to enjoy super buffs for five rooms. Which makes the no damage challenge hilariously easy with Jelen for all players. Wow, level 61. Avoid death while starting the area invincible. Chat, some challenges are just free. It's like, you put challenge in big air quotes, like, uh, yeah, about that. We're still invincible even as I speak. Wow. Slightly off of the center of the slime. Should be dead now. <laughs> yeah, they're they're more suggestions, I would agree. They're they're guidelines on how to get them. Wow. There's just actually a massacre happening right now. We're almost back up to 15 minutes. Oh my gosh, Chad, stop it. <laughs> We're never gonna end the endless. We're doing too well. I might have to hard cut it off. Like, look at this. We're, we started, I think, at 15 minutes. We're at 14.30. This is what happens when you have people with good gear. Just shake your head. The endless is truly endless. Is there a, is there a Barance that spawns here? I forget if it's this corner or not. Definitely want to freeze trap you. The fact that we're still invincible after all that is so silly. Thirty-five minutes into the quest. It's true. That's why I said before, things like PP Creator are surprisingly good here. Like, I would not recommend them in most runs, but well, opposite sides brands. I always forget which side it's on. I need to remember it's bottom right. I knew it was coming up, I just wasn't sure where specifically. Like, hmm. Void healing? Okay. I mean, again, like these challenges just get easier the more you have the buffs. Like, do we really need to heal when we're at, like, 150 plus and we take, like, 10 damage a hit? Not really. And these kind of rooms without any kind of set damage are also kind of easy for the take no damage challenge, for that reason too. Where, like, caves is surprisingly annoying. Due to dragon. If you, if you have a uninhibited dragon just shooting lasers everywhere, very easy way to, uh, is the challenge. We've now gone up to 16 minutes. Just shaking my head. I think possibly Sunday we might just try to do an endless as long as possible. Because I like pretty much everything in Yellow ID. It has lame to RJ. Oh, hey, look. Box, box photon drop. Thank you, box drop. You're the best. But anyway, from that standpoint, I do think Yellow ID has some really solid hunts. I think if Viridian didn't get nerfed, <laughs> I would have maybe considered Viridian. I, I do like that it has like the LNK combat. I think Yellow ID having Holy Ray is okay. I don't most people don't have interesting dragons, like only really blue ID, I think. Has anything of interest there? Oh, Nano Dragon, you're already dead. So, final area. Guess I'll spread needle in case it's the other thing again. Okay, we're back up to 15 minutes. Dango Drain in health, nice. Avoid using Meseta, sure. Just for you, game. <laughs> I'll do it just for you. I could probably just bully him with spread needle at this point. I don't think it matters. So disgusting. Take 
that boss. <laughs> Of course it would go to cage me. Roll your eyes, chat. Of course. Boss fight's probably gonna be over by the time I unpause. Yeah. <laughs> Just... I don't even get to enjoy the super buff. What a troll. <laughs> right, chat? I, I actually got hard trolled. <laughs> Just get... Didn't get to participate in that boss battle. It's so sad. Anyway, we'll, we'll hand it in. Let's go, uh... I mean, reduce clear time when we're at 15 minutes. Honestly, we probably could have kept going. When you have that much extra on the timer, it doesn't matter. Anyway, I'll get half of my money back, which isn't too bad. So, lots of PDs. What are we doing in terms of badges? All the badges are from this year. Pretty sure. We we're up to 12 gold badges due to trade-ups. I could get another one through silver. Okay. What am I doing in terms of PDs? A? Oh, maybe I did put the PDs away. Yes, okay, so I did just get up to eight. I was thinking I got eight. That was such a good call. <laughs> wow, I can't believe I actually got I guessed that correctly. Cause I, I put the I put them away on the Hunu roll. So yeah, we got a lot of PDs today. On stream and somewhat off stream. I'm gonna hand that in for 32,000 Vesetta. Not too bad. Alright, so let's go power level Dango. Um, it's this one. Power level in time. Depending on how long it takes, I might be up for a DTO. So we'll try. If Diz, if you're still around, if you want to hop in for some power leveling. If anybody is a character in very hard mode, they'd like to have leveled, uh, more than welcome to join in. I'm gonna bring in the faux new mid. He is the damage, he is the buffs, he is the carry. Okay, so let's make the game. For those that haven't seen it before, this is a very broken and dumb quest. I don't usually like to do it while there's an event running, but we'll do it for Dango. Is it starting on hard? I wasn't planning to. No worries, Kaiser. Hard mode is kind of a commitment. That's like another two. That's like another hour and a half added to the run. I don't know if I want to do that. I think I only realistically need five. I think honestly I need less than that, but I could take four just because. Is your character able to enter very hard dis, or are they like literally level 20? 20 is kind of rough. If they're like 38, I'll do it. But like 35, I'll consider it. Yeah, this character is uh kind of disgusting. Gafoe merge, god technique, Vieta one, double adepts. Does not care. Oh, I think he's still level oh. I thought oh, I thought you said you had a character in very hard earlier. Oh, I'm on ultimate, my bad. Habit. I got the cookies out though. Yeah, I, I don't want to do a fresh level. That that I already said that definitively I do not want to do that. That takes too much time. But if anybody else needs some quick levels, they're more than welcome to join in. It's competitive with ultimate mode for no reason. <laughs> Just by the way. Even with 185% in ultimate, it is still competitive with ultimate experience. Anybody that wants to hop in for some quick levels? Murphy will join in. Nice. No worries, Murphy. Do we have Murphy confirmed for another slot? Eyes are stepping out. You have a force at 30, which is too low. Um, 
I'm willing to bring a 30 up to a 40, but I'm not willing to bring a 40 to an 80, if that makes sense. I will, I will allow it only because you have not done any cookie runs with us before. And that is my, my say with that. <laughs> Because 40 to 80 is a big commitment. 60 to 80 is... Or 66 to 80 is not a commitment. To me, that's like three cookies. So that's like, what, 30 minutes? 40? Not bad. So... Okay. I'm gonna slash lobby then. Let's get Minus X character to level 40. Dangle will still power level, which is fine. And we'll go from there. See, the beautiful thing is that blue ID is so broken that even if you said do it on normal, I'd still get relevant drops on blue ID. I would get like a million photon drops and or add slots. And I'm like, cool, I don't mind both. And then I go to hard mode and I'm like, oh, more photon drops. And then I go to very hard mode and it's like, oh, ignition cloak and uh, photon crystals and... And sometimes randomly heaven heavenly arms and equivalencies for no reason. Like, cool, that seems unfair. I don't know why you have access to these things on very hard mode. I'm not gonna question it, though. See, so, yeah, we'll do a couple since Minus X has not done any before. And that is still open for people that have never done it before. Same. It's probably Murphy. I had to guess. Yeah, I was gonna say, it is definitely a Nardo character. Shark Swordsman has arrived. But is the Shark Swordsman an actual hunter? That's the real question. Let's go find the hunter. Heal, please? That's what you named the character? Nice. I would say for the most part, it, it almost doesn't matter what you bring. I'm gonna be real honest with you, Minus X. The most important thing is HP. Oh, name for the hammerhead? Makes sense. Gotta play off the shark pun. Okay, I got my angry stomp back. I'm gonna use it. I was sad the raw cast didn't have it. <laughs> that that puts him in F tier automatically. <laughs> no angry stomp, only wave. Yeah, I'm pretty much gonna be the DPS for the entire run. Honestly, people could literally just stand there and do nothing. I'd probably still clear it. So if you have any HP boosters, I would highly recommend you equip them, and I do not care otherwise what you bring in. I don't even need you to debuff. Honestly, the only spell you need to use is probably Gafoe. If you don't have Gafoe, that's kind of a problem at some point, but not right now. Yeah, like... Trust, trust me when I say it really doesn't matter. Like, this run will go very quickly. It's just hard mode. It, if you even manage to get a kill as a foam moral without having a full mind mag, I would be very surprised. Especially with what I'm about to do to the room. I'm just gonna wait for Murphy. Yeah, so here's the setup for power leveling this. We have Ignition Cloak because we're going to be spamming Gafoe like 90% of the run. Theodo 1 to make us faster. We unequip a weapon because we want to fast cast. We have double adept so we never bother with cry fluids and god technique to maximize damage. And then on top of that, I'm wearing a Gafoe merge. So I'm going to be stacking so much fireball that the only thing we will need to kill that the team will probably need to interfere with are Gurdabulu. Like, if you have something for Gurdabulu, we can do that in very hard mode. I'm gonna say, where is Murphy? So, we are as optimal as we can possibly be. Special 45 hit demons. Uh, and the funny thing is, if you're playing on anything other than ultimate, even casts can wear use demons because it's not nerfed. 
till you get to ultimate. But this run is like really, really surprisingly easy, no matter how you look at it. We're gonna go ahead and activate the desert. I'm gonna pay the cookie toll to get in. So once we all go in the warp, I'm gonna go buff, buff. This is my life now. We're gonna use this since I don't think in hard mode I need to do anything other than this. How's it going, Chan? I, I have time to talk to you. I mean, I can I can grant this, I guess. And then I go right back to uh, Oops All Gafoe. So you'll notice that with Gafoe stacking, uh, most things will die more or less instantly. And even if they're not allegedly weak to fire, they're weak to me. So it doesn't really matter. Hard mode is like the forces dream. Like they could just crowd control this whole area so well. But even Grand Skirtabu is like a paralyzing demon stone. That's fair. People have the right equipment, it's good. So yeah, the only thing I really care about or is if you could kill Goron Detonators for me, I would appreciate it. And Gertabulu. Everything else in hard mode is free. Yeah, your your power leveling is gonna be like insane. So I'm going to hope that the heal please character will hit a uh, 40 and 2 cookies. We'll see. Yeah, I'm not going to bother stopping Tikafoe. I, I just believe the team will have it. Listen, this is this is my philosophy. I, I will believe in you, chat. Just like you should believe in my Kafoe to kill everything else like this. So as long as you deal with the Goron Detonator, nothing should really matter. Uh, hold on. A wave I almost have to care about. Maybe. Oh, never mind. The paralysis is here. Never mind. False alarm. Don't need to care. Done very hard cookie runs. Do you opt a magical piece for Gafoe boost? Um, it depends. I would say generally yes. For hard mode, generally no. If I want to save TP, I will. I'm more looking to make sure that, like, the satellite lizards never get close enough to me if I'm doing this so I don't have to think at all when I play. Watermelon has reached level 200. We can talk about anything, by the way. This is just... I'm playing with just my thumb. The controller is on my lap. My left hand is just waving as I talk. Like, that, that's how much it doesn't matter. I don't, I don't plan on moving from this spot. So I know after this wave, it's going to be Marissa's. The only time I might have to move is if I get uh, pulled in by Gertabulu. Uh Looks like I'm casting a little too quickly. So maybe next time I could experiment with Magical Piece, just so I don't have to try fluid. Like, not that I think it's more efficient or inefficient. I just don't feel like try fluiding. <laughs> What's up in this menu? <laughs> Look at those challenges. Bump. And because I never left the center of the room, I can kill the Rappies instantly, which is so disgusting. So I can see that uh, Dango went from 66, I think, to 68. We have Kasame went from 80 to 81. We have a Fomoral that went from 30 to 35, and we're not done with the quest yet. So it's looking pretty good that one more cookie should level them. Given that we haven't even finished the quest yet. Oh, hold on, chat. I have to very rudely pause my spam to go use the tri fluid. But anyway, yeah, this quest is insane. It's very silly. Oh, 36 now. Yeah, it's looking like I only need one more cookie, which is a, what I was hoping for. Only two cookies to complete it. So that's good. So even if the XP scales up, it shouldn't matter. And again, the thing about hard mode is that most enemies, I think, will have PDs as their rare drop, if I remember correctly. But either way, it's just going to be an absolute massacre. And even if I just get stuff like bronze badges, it really doesn't matter. I think this is the final wave. I didn't bother moving. Yeah, this is the final wave. So yeah, this is nice and fast. So we got 260-something experience a second, which is competitive with what we were doing earlier, by the way. Is this Baka Matai, but jazz? This. 
yeah. <laughs> I heard the dame dame. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, what the heck is this? I mean, the title is in Japanese, to be fair. I could not read what it was. Other than it said jazz version. Alright, so one more cookie and we'll be all caught up. And we'll go back to leveling Dangotron. So I'm going to hand in the quest just because I want money. Not because I need to. You have to talk to the guy that's outside the ward for future reference. But yeah, one more. We'll have 37. Still a pretty good experience. So this will be the last one we do on hard mode. It's the same song. What's the difference? Is it just featuring a new singer? Uh, these might just be all lyrics. Okay. Next soundtrack. Yeah, we can experiment with casting a little less with Magical Piece. The way I view it is I sometimes just leave it on a normal mode because the damage it adds is so high and the resistance is so bad. I guess I could try it on hard mode. On very hard mode, I still like to be unarmed because I have to actually swap elements. But sometimes I'll leave it on. Or I could just leave it unarmed and just hilariously stunlock everything. Whatever I'm in the mood for, basically. Goodbye, everything near me. Hello, Gurdabulu. Cat paralyzed them, that's just mean. So yeah, the XP here is crazy. Nothing really competes for it. So this will help put them so that way, like, Dangozol will be strong enough to do basic runs with us. Ucast, fortunately, is so powerful that he's just, like, 20 levels above an ATP compared to other characters, if not 40 or more. Oops, I took damage at some point. Not that it super matters, goodbye. There you go, chant. 10 out of 10 gameplay. Just leave the technique menu open, then you don't have to constantly do the quick menus. I mean, I'm feeling a little tired, so I don't feel like doing the quick menus. Might as well take advantage of this. Such is life. Oh, I forgot to do shift it, D band, my bad. I'll make sure we do that in very hard mode. Yeah, they'll take care of the Gurdabulu. I mostly just want to stay near the center, because a lot of the time the Rappies will spawn roughly in the center, so I know I can kill them instantly if they do that. Up 2,000 Bazooka found, nice. Yeah, like this is a wave where like normally I would have to care, but I believe in the chat. If nothing else, I'm a decoy, because even if they hit me, I presume someone will heal me. <laughs> I'm just going to keep stacking. Like, look at that. The Mercer spawned in dead. Like, it couldn't do anything. The damage is disgusting, Chan. Believe in the chat that believes in you. Something like that. So now we have a guaranteed 40. Dangotron's already almost 70. I could probably do two cookies beyond that. Same still gained a level, despite being in hard mode. <laughs> <laughs> the, the levels in this game just don't make any sense. Oh, excuse me. Gain two levels now is 83. Oh, uh, indeed. This quest is so silly busted. <laughs> oh, excuse me. So, yeah, so you'll see the Rappies fall from the sky here. Or later on. But you'll see the Marissa spawn in and they'll just kind of die. So those are a little far for me. So they would have to get lured towards me to die. 
The saw me was 80 when we started. That's why I said three. All right, just hit level 40, but there's no reason to quit the quest. We might as well skip the XP. So these Rappies here are about to die. So that's where it might make a difference. Like if it's a rare Rappy in that specific spawn, I probably should equip a magical piece. Like, probably, just in case, so that they don't get spooked. Okay, all these extra levels are just ensuring you have better minimum health to survive the next area. That's all I view this as. Bonk. Poor Marissa. They try. Oh, I might have to use a tri-fluid. Oh, I don't- I no longer have to spam. What's on drop? That's more re rewarding than my ultimate runs. <laughs> right, chat? Like, wait, I got something useful? So there we go. I, gu I guess if I use the magical piece, I don't ever have to try fluid. So I guess we've scientifically proven that I don't have to care. Like, <laughs> just no resources used, no cares. This will be interesting. I guess I'll pick up the materials that are over here. Fuck you, get my money. So I don't think we'll take your force all the way to 80, but we're gonna bring Dangotron up quite a bit. Oh, is the lobby feeling okay? You feeling okay there, lobby? I mean, I, I see that you're here, but I would prefer that I was in it. <laughs> Uh-oh, I lose internet. Oh, that's annoying. Seriously? Annoying. I think there was like a lag spike or something on my internet. Hopefully my internet didn't just like die, die. I still hear the music. We're gonna pause the music. Let's check our internet. No, uh, might have died. Seriously? We're doing so well. Oh, no, still failed. Well, we're gonna try again. Please don't end the stream there. We were on such a roll. Man, sucks. I wonder if there is something like, oh, there's a schedule outage we just never told you about. Why would we ever inform you? Yeah, I'm t I still don't have internet. What happened? I'm going to walk away for a second. Hopefully we can get it started again. Otherwise, I'll have to pause the recording. Okay, there we go. Ten dollars, it was Windows 11's fault. Uh, I think just my internet hiccuped. Try this again. Anyway, let's continue onwards. By the time I went to check the router, it already reconnected. So I'm assuming he just fell asleep or something dumb. Surprisingly not Windows 11 this time. I think it was a uh, Comcast. <laughs> no matter what they call themselves, it's Comcast. Anyway, let's do a very hard mode. So this time it'll definitely need some good lockdown, but I think the team has some pretty good crowd control. Guess it was internet since you're still in PSO, probably. Yeah, Comcast. If you want to hop in again, minus X. You continue leveling your character. 
As I said before, I don't think we'll take you to like 80 necessarily, unless you are like crazy power leveling off of this. We'll probably do at least two or three cookies. So everybody is a little bit of a safety buffer. Yeah, getting out of those awkward... Like, you, you can power level pretty quickly from, like, 90 to 110, but sometimes you just need, like, a little bit of raw stats to get going. So it doesn't hurt to get, like, another 10 as you get into ultimate. Because 50 to 80 ATP on a charge weapon kind of makes a big difference. Depending on what character you are. Sound that Comcast is still one of the better internet providers. Yeah, we... <laughs> unfortunately, there is a monopoly here, so I don't really have a choice. Yeah, I, I, I fully agree with Murphy. It's kind of that transition where you can get the two combo kill instead of needing an awkward 7th or 8th hit. I had that happening with the Hunoral, of all things, in single-player play. I was like, come on, Hunoral, you're killing me. Alright, so what I would recommend for Minus X is you debuff and you pray because <laughs> if anything hits you i'm pretty sure you're dead so just believe in the debuffs i will be spamming gafoey because i'm the damage i will try to buff the party with my buffs i'm gonna make sure at least we have this going for us Goodbye, satellite lizards. I could slow it down with some Gafoes. The very hard mode, we're looking for double photon crystal chances, things like Heavenly Arms, Ignition Cloak. Again, there are surprisingly decent drops on very hard mode. It's like I'm not a I'm not afraid to do some of these. I just don't really want to do a 1 to 80 rush, unless I'm also making a character, which I don't really feel like doing. Not during the event. Post event, maybe. Right, I'm gonna stun lock them with Gafoey. I'm assuming the team has the Goron Detonator. Yeah, my, my contribution is making sure waves like that just get deleted, or waves like this. Goodbye, waves. Tron at 71 because I'm at 84. I think I got off centered a little bit, which is fine. Yeah, this is where defense and health actually matters. So fortunately, we're not fighting Gorfons because they would probably kill the party. But underground enemies, ironically, the Gurdabulu is not as scary as the other enemies are. I'd rather deal with them than the set damage of Zoo Laser. Fine with, uh, Gorfon. Four enemies. Oh, Dango died. Oh, Dango. Right, this wave I probably should care. I'm going to debuff them so the team doesn't explode. Back to always. Ooh, rare Marissa. How do you give us potentially a photon crystal or something? That would be nice. And here a rare drop, but it's free XP. I'll take that. Dropped a Magua. It's disappointing. We killed all the zoos. They'll kill the Goron Detonators. Heaven Striker Coat. Nice. That's not a bad pickup, too. The fact that you could just get those in case you're trying to make a ranger is kind of nice. I'm gonna buff you so you don't die. I like that Fireball still does okay damage to Pyro Gorons. Poor 
Marissa, that she's fall over. Yeah, you can see those Rappies died nearly instantly due to my placement, which is what I'm looking to do. Yeah, the team will generally just become tankier and tankier as time goes by. Dango's a nice solid 72. Same now 85. Getting within usable range. Definitely that accuracy increase for level is also really huge. There's just so much going on in the early levels. I like this song. Only played a little bit through six. I was not a fan of the baby. Like, there's literally a mechanic where you feed the baby, and I'm like, why is this in Yakuza? <laughs> just like, this is this is not what I this is not what I wanted to play when I pick up a Yakuza game. I'm not sorry to say that. I've never been interested in it. Don't care. Oh, we almost done. Let me debuff. The Lord to help the team. I'm gonna get out of the middle because there should be double Gertabu loose. I paid attention. Yay. Goodbye. The Photon Crystal did draw. And one of the namesake items did draw. The people that want to get some black paper deals in. I love that the Mesetta drop is like 600 plus. The money drop is insane. I don't know why it's that high. But I'll take it. It's a lot of money. And I got 10k just picking up items. But sadly, don't see the other drops here. So we ended up getting a little over 300 experience a second, which I will gladly take. in for more money. <laughs> Never enough money. You found a Jaya, nice. You know what's really dumb? I think most of my Jayas have come from these runs and also blue RT. I am not I don't think there I don't think I've ever picked one up outside of that other than randomly getting one in a box. These runs are just so good at getting them. Let's check to see where the event is. I'm just curious. It would have been funny if Majima was taking care of the baby, maybe. But yeah, just... It's one of those things. When it, whenever something reminds me of Yakuza 3, that's not a good thing. <laughs> like, you, you want to move away from Yakuza 3. Yakuza 3 was not the highlight of the series. No matter what the writer says or whatever that one side quest tries to tell you about it. What was it called? Was it, did they call it Sunset Riders? Is that what it was called in the Yakuza universe? I'm trying to remember. Oh no, I'm thinking of the, the Wild West game. What was it called in Yakuza when they were referencing themselves? I'm sure chat knows. Yeah, there's this whole thing where you're going around trying to basically protect a movie director. They're like, three was just misunderstood by the audience. And I'm like, oh my gosh, get out of here. Why would you put this in your game? It's just sad. <laughs> people just didn't like Yakuza 3. There's a lot of valid reasons people did not like that game. Just rolled my eyes. I can't believe they actually put that in the Yakuza games. So silly. Okay. Back to simple spam. There we 
There we go. Let's see, 311 health. Didn't die instantly. That's the important thing. Levels matter. You're up like 40 health from where you started. A little bit more defense. Crits do a little less. Oh, they pushed me out of the normal range. I gotta walk forward. We have Kasame at 85. Oh, I'm taking some big damage. Angotron at 73. Have to heal. How annoying. Anyway, back to casting. Nice level up. I'm just trying to think. Anything else I want from the event itself? Mostly just some access, maybe to a better Vivian. Wouldn't hurt to also go for a Rambling May. I actually have decent ones, like they have 30 hit or 35 hit. Like, they're actually legit enough. Like, I, I don't, like, need, need an upgrade. They're, they're good enough that it lets me do runs I was not able to do without them. Since it's very important for me to be able to land, like, normal heavy heavy on most enemies. And I just wasn't able to do the heavy attack without the hit bonus. Umar has found Monkey King Bar with how much hit? 40 hit? Nice. Another Humar is out there. Although, if they, it would be funny if the person called Humar was something else. <laughs> like, they're just like Rock Casile or something. Has anyone gotten a Platinum Badge? I have not seen one on the banner, but that doesn't mean it hasn't happened. I'm not as active on the game. I'm only in for like a short period of time. Dangotron climbing to 80. Meanwhile, level 54. Not too bad. Hopefully Minus X enjoys the very silly experience. You will not see power leveling like this outside this quest. Any US1 drop? Nice. Already 51 from 40. That's not too bad. The music in the game is perfect, by the way. This music is actually good. I just wish I liked the rest of Yakuza 6. I'm in from 40 in uh, the, the current difficulty. 52 now. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, I don't hear the music for the quest. <laughs> All I hear is Yakuza. <laughs> it, it's, it's Yakuza everywhere as opposed to Majima everywhere. I was gonna say team team not healing themselves so i was gonna say that is brave and bold i mean i'm just gonna keep spamming gafoli because presumably it's gonna die there we go huh all right i'll care slightly i'll debuff how's that there we go keep the people alive 50% Dark Giant, no hit. Damn, if that had hit, though. You're like, Kimia Ruin. Yeah, and that was the thing earlier. I was playing the Hugh New World, and it was like... If I'm willing to throw away a lot of money, she definitely was fun in solo play. But, like... I felt like she wasn't hitting combo kills that, like, she really needed to hit if I was gonna play her solo. Like, I couldn't freak anything with, like, AoE weapons, except with Jaya. Like, she just was not quite able to do it. But, like, I tried Spirit Diska, and unless it crits, it doesn't kill. I did, like, I did, like, Gunnier with 55 hit, and even with, like, Power Power Special, it just wasn't good enough. 
so I think she does need some pretty high percents to be a bit more useful. So I'm thinking, like, if I end up finding, like, even just, like, a Yun Chang, like, just a little bit of dark percentage, that would probably fix her issue. But also, yeah, she probably should have had more ATA. It is kind of sad that she has less than Humor for some reason. Even though she's a new man. So we'll do a few more. And we'll probably wrap up with a TTF or something. Maybe I'll maybe I'll carry all the players potentially at level 80. I was gonna say, listening to the music, I'm like, man, I would get so in the mood. And then I remember the stuff that was in Yakuza 6. The really annoying squid undersea hunting game. I really did not like. I just get disappointed. I I'm not a fan of the rail shooters, especially Zeros. Zeros drove me wild. Say we're listening to very dramatic, almost ominous music. <laughs> the rise of uh, Dangotron. There we go. becoming too powerful he must be stopped yeah it's too late now so strong poor Gerda Bulu and Tango Tron's not too far away I think maybe two cookies he'll be there and we'll have uh, Minus X's character most of the way to 80. Yeah, that's what I was saying before. Like, it's a really big commitment to take it all the way to 80. So I, I could promise at least to Danglotron 80. Murphy will enjoy the power levels. I mean, seven levels by itself is probably, what, somewhere between 28 and 35 ATP? Kind of nice. These poor lizards, they just explode. Yeah, there's sometimes I could probably care a little more, but honestly, Chloe stacking is just so strong. The only time I have to really care is like Goron Detonator waves. Or if it's like only Gurdabulu. But even if, if the team is ready, I don't need to do anything special. Welcome, Nate. Hope you're doing well. Like, this wave, in theory, I could care about. But then watch, like, you can see the power of demons just kills them instantly. So by the time I were to grant, I would lose out on my benefit of just spamming the fireball here to defeat them. Found a bazooka. Nice. Oh, I got hit. Run detonator, I think, is bullying me. <laughs> I got healed, though. Thank you, team. Yeah, like this wave, I should probably just keep up. Keep this up a little. And go right back to stacking. That way I could say I did something. <laughs> I, I turned the wave damage off. It's like a flip. Flip switch. Just be like, yeah, no damage. The fact that this character has hit 177, and I can tell you they've done almost explicitly hard mode with, like, the exception of maybe seven RTs is very silly. If you want to get an understanding how dumb this experience is, like, pretty much from, like, 120 onwards has only been very hard mode. I very rarely use him in ultimate, because there's just not a lot of blue ID things I want to hunt. And since then, I found, like, I enjoy the Hunu world a little better for uh, blue ID stuff. 
Although, honestly, if I don't have Dark Flow, I do prefer him in RT. There we go. Dangotron almost all the way there. Rip Marissa's. So close. Poor Rappies, they're about to explode. <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah, GG. Yeah, now, uh, blah, blah, blah. we have a small window where I need to increase tri fluids. There we go. The minus X already 56, entering at 40 here. That's almost 80 extra health to survive crits. So probably won't die to most things, although he's walking around without buffs. So that always scares me whenever I see that. Well, thank you for sticking around, remote battery. Hopefully you get some rest. We'll be wrapping this up possibly in one more cookie run. We'll put everybody else at a good head start for everything else. I'm kind of hoping for a rare Rappy, but we haven't seen it yet. Rare Rappy is like legitimately the hunt that you would do this for because it drops Ignition Cloak. I'll take Admin Striker Coat though. I can sell for some stuff if I want it. Or that to speed it up. <laughs> the damage is just so high. There we go. Murphy looking pretty solid there. Should eventually get a tri fluid. Oh, look, there's one on the floor. So I'm actually not that far away from leveling. Been picking up some. Oh, you mean Heaven Striker Coats? No, you, you can keep them to sell them. I just, if I notice them, I'll pick them up. Let's see, how are we doing in terms of badges and stuff like that? Quick chat. 64 bronzes, up to 9 photon drops. Got a lot of photon crystals this event, surprisingly. Oh, there we go, there's some tri-flow. Thank you for those. I use- well, on very- on very hard mode I need to use one a run, and that's it. Oops, got some talk to the other person. So in two more quests I'm gonna level again as this character. Which is still semi-relevant, because the more defense I have, the less they damage me, and the less I care about being hit around. I mean, I'll take that easy 15,000 Masetta, for sure. There we go, Dangotron's going all the way. Yeah, these levels should definitely help you, Minus X. Can I hand you to my lane? Uh, you probably could have. <laughs> I don't super need magical piece. Guess I could have been unlocking stuff as we did this. Doesn't really matter though. I need to get like way too many kills. If we were doing like 1 to 80, I would have considered it. Let's see, uh, do another one of these. There we go. And again, like, I'm listening to this and I'm like, oh, I want to hear where it is in game. And then, uh, the, like, the gameplay is the baby meter. <laughs> We're trying to feed the baby. I'm like, man, come on. Calc is a please. So sad. I 
I didn't really play much of uh, Evan because uh, for some reason it wouldn't let me stream it on Discord because I usually um, play those games on Discord for other people. For some reason, every time I went to stream that game, it would actually just refuse to stream. It's the only game I've ever seen do that before. Nice, Silver Badge. Forgot to buff on people. There we go. Poor Marissa's. Angotron getting ever closer to 80. Isame going into the I can solo territory. What should the final hunt of the night be? Where is the zoo? I was gonna say. I'm like, I pumped out a ton of Gafoe. How is it not hitting? Hmm. I guess from that perspective, it's all about what the team really needs, I suppose. We did a lot of greedy runs today. We're at kind of a weird point in the point total since it just transitioned over. I don't really feel like doing uh, August Atrocity. We, we could save that for another day. I'd rather just do stuff that takes advantage of the bonuses. We'll have like one of those days each week. Rappy's Beak, nice. Let me debuff. Yeah, like this wave I have to sort of care about because that can really mess up the team. So just making sure they're gel into Lord is like more than... It's pretty much more than I need to do, but I just like to go the extra mile for them. Like, I could just stunlock them with Razan, but I just want them to just never, ever possibly hurt anybody ever. Oh, Silver Badge, nice. I was gonna say Murphy had a pleasant 666 HP. Congrats on level 90. You become the devil character. Yeah, so minus X. You can see how you can power level. <laughs> if you were curious, it's very easy as Phonuman. It just requires you to pump as much fire damage as you can. And let other people cover the gaps. Episode 4 is the Forces Playground. They can do whatever they want prior to ultimate. Oop, another Jaya. Yeah, I think I got both my 40 and 45 hit Jaya's from doing... I don't think it was this quest explicitly, but I think it was just like the standard level up quest of Massive Attack B. We'll chip him out a little. Goodbye enemies. Dangotron at a tantalizing 79. And honestly, I don't think Minus X's character is that far away from 80 either at this rate. It definitely should be way easier to level the character Minus X. This should give you a big head start. So we've done a couple of 1 to 80 challenges Minus X if you haven't seen it before. A lot of it just involves making sure you have a 4 slot frame, full mag, and... Pretty much all you need. It's very easy for foe new mins. Foe morals are a little more difficult because they don't have good scalings. Yeah, we've done it a few different times with a few different characters, and every single time. We start from literally level 1, we material people up, and then we just go. Oh, yeah, I just... Well, that's easy. It's 140 mine, 10 luck. That's it. The, the, their, their build is very simple. It's the same for every Phonuman. Then I usually talk about there's three different weapons that you could wield to get another 50 MST. I prefer to do the type Cane, which I got from the Easter event. 
Because that's like one of the easiest ones to pick up. These uh so many materials here. There we go. And if you're curious, yes, this quest is still extremely dumb when you go into ultimate. We've broken, I think we've gotten almost 700 experience a second on one of our like truly Optifice runs. It's like truly broken, that's <laughs> of experience. So we'll do one more cookie run for Dangotron. And that'll put him at 80 finally. Yeah, it's 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 not really that hard, I would say. It's just knowing you need like four things and then just making sure you have techniques. That's it. Other than that, like 80% of the game is Gafoe. Here we go. We'll do one more for Dango. This should put him over. Then we'll go back to a standard run. I was gonna say, so far I'm really liking the songs I'm listening to. But this doesn't look like a full soundtrack either. Cause this only has 11 songs, but I mean they are good, but... Dot dot dot. Maybe it's just all the combat themes. I'm also thinking about Yakuza 6 trying to make me join a baseball team, and I'm like, no! I don't like baseball. No. I don't care about the team building. Yakuza, please. That was like the one mini game I really tried to avoid in every single one. It made me so sad, chat, every time. Rip luck material. Uh oh. There we go. Sure everybody's here. Oh man. Oh, there we go. I leveled. I did it, chat. <laughs> Look, I can enter ultimate now. Congrats, Sangotron. Oh, was Six the one with the taxi? I think Six was the one with the taxi, right? No, or was that Five? I always forget. I still remember the taxi minigame where you're the, pretending to... Yeah, oh yeah, you're totally done with the Yakuza life for like the third time in <laughs> the series is Kiryu. How bad that taxi minigame was. I like that I beat it with, like, base vehicle. You didn't even need to upgrade. The game rubber banding was in such strong negatives, it didn't matter if you upgraded your vehicle. As long as you knew how to turbo. That's all that mattered. There we go. Extra credit levels. 396 health is definitely much better for surviving very hard mode. To put you out of set damage kills of most enemies. Same at 91, not bad. Already a pretty fine level for doing forest runs. Oh, I'm getting bullied. There we go, I get healed. Alright, debuff, debuff. 
Just unlock, I guess. Back to Kafoe. We did our job. We challenged the Lord. We moved back on. Yeah, when your team has demons, you don't have to try as hard with Phonuman. You're like, oh, I don't need to worry about enemy types because they got it. Cool. Right? Yeah, but just like, it just makes it easy. Like, these enemies could be bad, but between two casts, if they really want to freeze it, they can freeze them. I'm not really that worried. Almost at 400 HP for minus X. I don't think anything can kill him now. 100 extra health is big. They're definitely not now. 402 is nice. Dangotron at 81. Getting a little safety stats for uh, levels. I'm kind of curious what Dangotron's base ATP will be when this is all over. Just to give people an idea of how silly Hughcast is. Poor Rappies. Pop. on me already 92 congratulations probably 1250 to 1300 with mag they say that seems kind of high even for him yeah i'm thinking like it's definitely more than 800 do i think it's more than 900 is the question I imagine it's like, I'm gonna guess like 980 at the most, yeah, after it's over. I have 941 right now from the raw cast. This U cast gets more, but they, they scale a little slower. I think they can get their lame at like 60, so I'm imagining they're probably at least 900 something right now. Going on a thousand, depending on this level up. We'll see, though. We'll get confirmation from Dango. 82, congratulations. Goodbye, Gritabulu. I will gladly take that to junk it. Goodbye, Angry Fist. I guess I could have checked to see if it had better stats. I didn't really think about that, but that's fine. It's gone now. Nothing will nothing will retrieve it. Uh so many random items. Uh it's not too bad. You just gotta take away a couple things. Honestly, it's only a problem when like where the zoos die. That's pretty much it. material here. See, I found everything. Nothing equipped them at 800. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. But like after your after your stats, how 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 close to 950 are you with your full build? I guess it depends on what kind of mag you're using too. Using max stats or a generic one. Yeah, that's what I'm curious. Alright, so he must be... Yeah, so full material. So yeah, definitely... So... Interesting. You cast scaling on those final 10 levels. Quite something. Yeah, I wasn't sure if he'd be over 1,000 or not. Oh, you're at no mats. Yeah, see, that's what I was curious about, too. Do you have... So you didn't use any mats on him yet? Yeah, that makes more sense now. Ah, but I'm... T but I'm almost technically correct, because I was closer. <laughs> mag one 133 power? What, what... What kind of mag is that? Is that an incomplete mag? Like, what is this tomfoolery? <laughs> 
So yeah, I could definitely see with like another 100 power materials that would put it into the uh, 1100 range. Very silly stuff. You cast things. You know what it was? When I played the Hugh cast, the weird mag with boosted accuracy. You know what I you know what I actually leveled with with the Hugh cast for a while? Why I think the ATP is lower? I actually played with the Hugh New World mag. It's the min-max mag, yeah, probably. I played with the Hugh New World mag just so he had max accuracy. <laughs> I think I used one where it was like, what was it? Like a hundred decks and then the rest was power. Because all I cared about was hitting max accuracy with him. I think that's where I'm thinking about the being around a thousand ATP. Because I would be about 50 off of my mag build. Rip the soundtrack. Where's the rest of the Yakuza soundtrack? Not the best of. Where's the. Where? Do they do they not have a soundtrack for Yakuza 6? How is that even possible? What? Is this the only game without a full list on YouTube? I have never seen a Yakuza game without a full soundtrack before. What is happening? Hello? <laughs> Yakuza 6 OST does not give me the OST. I could listen to the extended version of every song. I'd really prefer not to do that. Then there's the best of Yakuza 6. I guess that's a little closer. Whatever. Question mark, question mark, question mark on that one. Alright, so I'm going to put some stuff away. Someone tapping in for the last thing. I'm not sure. I guess we can see if somebody wants to hop in. I mean, we're not doing any more uh, very hard mode. Hope you enjoyed the power levels minus X. Make your solo adventures much faster. Yeah, I'll just cancel the quest. Uh, what do I feel like doing? You know what? Humor me, chat. I want to do a couple temple runs and then we'll do a TTF. I will play a force for it. So you can bring in your low level character if you want. Just temple. Then we'll end, I think, with the TTF. I really want that Vivian chat, I'm telling you. I had a lot of fun with it on the Hugh seal, but she just could not quite combo kill with it. If only I had anything that was other than zeros. Oh, hopefully you get some rest in parameter. Looks like Kaiser might want to join us. So Murphy and Dango are more than welcome to bring in the characters that they were ghost. leveling. I'm a ghost. As I said before, it's just Temple. Now I'm going to be playing a Force, so don't worry about that. Yeah, this character, V101, 801, Smart Link, Adip, Red Ring. Mm. Even at 13. Yeah, like, my, my best Vivian is 25 Dark Chat. Like, I think I can do better. On other characters, it's literally a 10%er. So if I find anything that's higher than 10%, it would be an upgrade for me. Which is really sad, but true. So yeah, we got Smartling, V801, Adip, Red Ring, Rambling May. I got Diska in case I want to delete a group. Got a 25 hit Slicer Fanatic, which is funny. There we go. Eyes are hopping in for some quick runs. Thank you, thank you. I guess we could say we officially were not greedy because we're helping with the event quest, but at the same time, it's greedy because I actually want the item. <laughs> Though it's it's in it incidentally we're helping. This should be pretty quick. 
So the reason why you potentially want to pick up a Rambling May minus X, I hope you will observe, it shoots really quickly. <laughs> Mutual benefit, exactly. It shoots extremely quickly. Look at that attack speed. Insane. And it double hits. So if you watch me fight anything, I will probably combo kill with this character. But let's take this enemy, for example. Dead. Hear him. So I can almost combo kill without Zalur in multiplayer. Almost. If I if I get two crits, it will combo kill. So yeah, just Zalur, and then you could go boop. This weapon also scales decently well with uh, good attributes. So Pink ID will get you Vivian and Rambling May in one run. So I like to do a couple of these just because like this is like the quest to do it on anyway. Otherwise, people can run EDK or whatever they want. We have so much damage that as long as I Zalore, we'll probably just burst them like this. And you can see they're just melting right now. That's why I wasn't really worried about our clear speed, and we're still getting good experience. With the help of Kaiser for sure. As long as I buff every now and then, we should be good. Probably want that power material. I gotta wait for people to leave. There we go. That power material. No room for a die grinder. Build a bear said, why is that in my inventory? <laughs> Chan, I have the weirdest things in my inventory. I, I couldn't even tell you what I was doing with this character last. I mean, I presumably was in normal mode or something, because that's not a normal item you can find in ultimate. I might have been doing, like, stink frames or something. Stink shields. The only thing I could think of with that. Yeah, so with Zalor, she combo kills, even in multiplayer, pretty quick. Uh, the other reason you want to consider a Force is she has the best slicer animation in the game. So she doesn't move very quickly, and it's very easy for her to stack damage. I could do something like uh, a special into, say, a normal attack. So that way the special uses my normal accuracy. But she's also one of the just deadliest characters, because I could just throw out my normal and kill everything. I believe I have Red Ring on, right? Yeah, I do. You can see that I can almost combo kill with just a normal and a special. Like her damage is very high at high levels. Then I'm also extremely safe because of how much I debuff. So I'm not really worried about them ever hurting me. I could just crowd clear like this if I want to. Like, what are they going to do? They're going to hit me through gel in 30? I don't think so. Look at that damage. Goodbye. See, I did 1100 damage as a Fomoral. Actually makes no sense. Right, we're going to shut down the Lilies real quick. So she just sends up what I like to call as, like, a tank. Like, I just view her as, like, one of the most unkillable characters in the game. Just because of the fact that she is Jelen and Zalor and D band and her defense is higher than most forces and her health total is high. So, like, even in single player, I think you only really die to set damage. So you could just afford to Berserk literally 24 7. I mean, what are they gonna do? They're like, they, they can't even injure me now. In fact, let me let me showcase. If, if I Diva. Oh, it's the Crimson Assassins. They attack very slowly. But if I debuff these, I don't think they can physically hurt me. So we're gonna try to trigger the wave. So I mean, I'll hold still for them. Let's see if they can hurt me. I'm now frozen. But just case in point, <laughs> they physically can't injure me. So even while frozen, they couldn't damage me. So what are they ever going to do to defeat me? The answer is nothing, just die. Don't you shoot me, get at me. So as long as you're, like, active with debuffs, you shouldn't really die ever. I mean, you might get tagged by, like, an annoying in indie bower from, like, full screen. That's, like, the extent. 
Yeah, this character potentially just clears so quickly. Neurum. As long as we're Zaloring for the group, it speeds up their kills significantly. It stops them from doing anything. We could sort of spell cast in episode 4, but we're not like really good at it. I think we're kind of best in like s probably mostly episode 2 clears, where I want to use a lot of discas, but I don't necessarily want roll ATP for thing like ball off, for example. So this is where potentially I should probably bring a Glide Divine so I can debuff the whole room. So let me reapply buffs. Boink. Yeah, so you can see our clear speed is pretty strong, pretty high. Here, um... Uh... I think I need dive. So I'll just drop them. Okay. No room for either, that's fun. So we're coming up to a room where it's this room is used at a couple different places, but I like the Indie Bell Rose into the flowers. I wanna see a rare flower or standard Rappy. Both of those have what I'm looking for. Aw, oh, getting confused there sucks. Yeah, we have, like, really good boss damage. Like, we're also pretty decent against things like falls, just because we double hit. And the fact that I could just do this and shut down, like, entire waves is really funny to me. So if I just don't want them to cast death orbs because of our party, I could just get rid of it if I want to. Also, I used my Tri-Fluids by accident. That was silly. Here, um... You can see, they're just melting with the current team. <laughs> we have people with basically challenge mode weapons and... You know, Hugh, Hugh cast gonna Hugh cast. So you combine that with his allure, and they're probably gonna combo kill everything, even though they're not max ATP. So this character ends up being kind of fun. Is like a kind of like an unusual ATP class. I don't like them as a spellcaster. I like viewing them as just they are a very tanky character with good buffs and debuffs that happen to be decent at Resta. But I don't usually play them as a spellcaster. Like, even right now, you see, I, I barely use my spells. I don't think they're needed. Especially not in Episode 2. So we're gonna come up to some flowers here. This is where, like, I will actively do stuff. There's sadly no rare lilies, it looks like. So what I can do is just zap every now and then, and this stops them from ever doing anything. Though getting re-paralyzed there is kind of annoying. So if I do want to damage, I could use ice, or I could just kill them with Diska. So that stopped them from overwhelming the team, because th that wave can be kind of annoying for players. He's also pretty decent with Vivian, but I don't have like a super strong one to show off. So this can also lead to combo kills in melee. You can see like that was a combo kill. So if you get one of the right stats, it could be fun with her. Up, up, up. So in a way, it's kind of like the melee version of Rambling May. It has more damage potential. As you can see, the difference between the Vivian and the Rambling May, just from like a stat perspective with buffs, is like 200. So if you get one with a really good bonus for a Vivian, for example, that will really carry your combo potential. Yeah, unfortunately, I stupidly consumed like a million Tri-Fluids by accident earlier. Should probably go get some. That's fine. So we'll put away some items and then we'll uh 
do one more run. This run is pretty quick. I, well, I guess we could do two. This is the before. This, this run is really quick. So we might as well enjoy our, our experience. Nice 125,000 with low effort. We're just helping them level a bit more consistently. There's suddenly a pool of tri-fluids. It looks like there's some kind of leak on the ship. We're gonna put away the Hilda Bear head, which is this up before. I was probably doing something on hard mode if I had to guess versus normal. And if I think I'm gonna be a spellcaster, I just mostly remove Smart Link and then I can switch to just purely Vivian. Yeah, she's otherwise completed as a character. She even has all yellow stats. But she she cannot physically improve. She's at max. And also has red rings, so she's not going anywhere. So yeah, it's nice that this character can actually deal with things. So I sometimes do solo episode 2 hunts with her. And there's also another episode 2 hunt you could do with your pink ID involving jungle. And I feel like she's also really good at it in solo for a force. I don't think she's better than like other characters in multiplayer. But she also has the trade off of I'm still above average with damage even in multiplayer, but I also bring buffs. It's just kind of how I view her. But like, I'm not really gonna out damage like a Hugh cast in their like 130s or like a rock cast in the 150s. But the difference is, is that I can just do all the support stuff and still do my duties. I can't believe I whipped that, that was so awkward. Am I out of soul atomizers? Oops. Be right back on that one. Thought I had a few more. So yeah, in these kinds of runs, I might consider removing Smart Link to get a Cure Paralysis. Just because the Lilies can be very annoying. Do this real quick. So cool what she could do, but requires niche items that are rarely farmed. Yeah, like a lot of people are not gonna fight farm Vivian or like Ramblings. Because they just don't take advantage of it. Like not other other characters can use Rambling May, but it doesn't have the animation that she has, because her shotgun animation is really quick for some reason. Like the fact that she could just do this is crazy. The fact that it also applies status ailments is kind of funny too. It also hits uh infinitely upwards. So you can snipe stuff out of the sky with it as well. Like it, it's so multi-purpose, it's kind of ridiculous. Oh, I guess I could put the fireball down. There we go. Yeah, like, she's, she pairs extremely well with 13 because it improves Disco Brave Man. Because her issue is a little bit of damage and accuracy. She could do the glitches to hit them, but ideally you would want to land a full combo. Debuff time. No, she is the best Disco Brave frames as well. So she attacks much faster. Like, the fact that it, her shotgun shoots like this is crazy. Like, it's definitely faster than Pistol, and there's, like, no lag afterwards either, comparatively. So it's like, I get something that's way stronger than a Vulcan. You can see, like, she just straight up combo killed with Zalor. So she has extremely good single target damage. But is needed, you can just whip out the old, uh... I can't believe I dodged that, by the way. You just whip out the old weapon. You know what? I'll melee you to death in Magical Beast. I don't care. All right, chat. That, that's how you assert dominance. 
They're like, listen, it's gonna combo kill no matter what I do. Yeah, so you can see she's just like two shotting and just doing whatever she wants. So if you get like some end game gear with it, it's kind of nice. The sad part is like, if you were to spear like a rambling May, then it would only be useful on her. Whereas you spear like a Brand's launcher. Or a lame to Argent, you're gonna get more mileage at it between between more of your characters. I guess at some point I should give her a lame to Argent. Cause she does need like just like a heavy ATB beat stick. Cause like her base stats at 872 is fine. I still think she got cheated in terms of stats. I don't know why, for example, the Fomar has more MST than her. She definitely should have been at like 1350 or 1400 to be honest. She has bonuses to grants, but they're mostly not relevant. There we go. Goodbye, Lily. I've always wondered in like a, a what if scenario if god technique and the associated techniques were allowed to raise you beyond your level cap if foe moral would end up being one of the best forces because she doesn't need any slots due to the how easily she maxes i was wondered about that but could you imagine you get you get like four heavenly techniques and she could do like level 46 shifta d-band that'd be hilarious Like, hold on, this Super Zalore is coming. What's a photon drops dropping? That's good. Hmm, no rare enemies despite the rare enemy bonus. That's a bit disappointing. So if we if we don't see a Vivian or Rambling May, at least we could say, you know what, we fought regular Rappy, which should be Vivian. Originally they put it on rare Rappy, which was horrible. Because every single time you would get an event with good bonuses. You just could never farm it because it gets replaced by the event Rappy, like the Halloween Rappy or like the Easter Rappy. And so like you could just never hunt the item ever. <laughs> just it felt terrible. I was surprised I got any before they changed it to be honest with you. Bonk. So yeah, I like to use like slicers on her. So for example, she's pretty good at just applying slicer fanatic to groups. It just really depends on what you're fighting, whether you can just brute force it with ATP or not. But if you really can't, like you're in harder areas, she's still really good at actually laying the slicer on. She's more accuracy than the Fomar, which does matter with landing specials. See, I don't even need to do the glitch there. Like, if somebody freezes it, her accuracy is good enough that I can land, like, a triple special combo. I'm very likely for it to land anyway. So, sometimes I just play purely with Slicer Fanatic, because it's so fun on her. Like, there. They, they also can't hurt me here at all. Poor Rampies. Revive Dangotron. Debuff time. There we go. Dangotron is back at full strength. I 
I could try to stun with uh, Gapoe. It's a bit less consistent, so that kind of stuff can happen. It does actually damage them, though. Uh, so I need to stand out of the middle. I'm getting tagged too often. There we go. Nice and simple. Got a couple PDs for doing the event at least. So yeah, unfortunately, like, Vivian I think is more useful across multiple characters. I do like it on the Huka Seal a lot. I just wish I finally got a better one, but looks like tonight will not be the night that we get a better Vivian than 10 Dark. Or potentially replace my best one of 25 Dark. Oh well. Can't say I didn't try. Hey, Dangotron at a nice 87, Kasame at 96. What a lot of progress. <laughs> See somebody pick up a Storm Wand and then just regret it instantly and drop it. Nice. Poor Storm Wand. I think we finished it almost the same exact time. I feel like we finished it literally 850 or 852 last run. I guess we could say we have consistency. Let's see what was said in the dialogue. I've got like six as Kasame. Oof. Too many storm ones. You know what? I don't think I'm quite ready to end the stream. <laughs> Let's continue with this character. We're just gonna go to a different episode 2 area. We're gonna go to the episode 2 area for Pink ID. Should be fine. Here we go. <laughs> this is where her true power unlocks. The ever infamous quest. I'm gonna potentially get a Excalibur here. So you have to think of it this way, like... Dango's character already is so much ATP that he's already, I think, stronger than a Ramarl at max ATP <laughs> if he's above 1145. So he's already doing as much damage as a level 200 Ramarl. And he's 87. So his damage is, is not to be questioned. <laughs> Bring in another character. So we'll do at least one of these runs. We'll do little dances. There's a lot of enemies that are potentially hellable here, but we also have so much damage, I don't know if it matters. It's one of those ones where it's kind of in between. I think you left your charge arms on my Raw Marl. Uh. Here we go. <laughs> E-Quest. Let's see, will, will it live up to its infamy of how dumb this quest is? Listen, they can try to nerf this all they want. So solid. Pretty much every box should be broken when given a chance. They're either going to be barriers of use or amplifiers of use. Every enemy here drops something somewhat interesting. And when we get to the Gibbons, one of the most common enemies here, that's the Excalibur chance. Doesn't look like we have hell. So what we can do... <laughs> it's 
we could become the hell user. <laughs> Don't worry about this, chat. See, we we can we could switch it up. We just have to match the party. There we go. We got a Jaya. Speaking of uh, box rares. Come on, there we go. Ooh, luck material. We received minus X's luck. You can see just... Sometimes you just... You just swap depending on what your build needs. Or your party needs, more specifically. Didn't miss anything back there. Should be good. The sad part is I could probably melee things to death with this. So we have the Demonic Fork for Piercing Hell. I just want to make sure we have some Hell usage. Because it does speed up gameplay pretty significantly. In some areas. So when in, if we see something we can't Hell, we just melee it. On game. There we go. So four tapping something is reasonable, I would say for the most part. There we go. Nice multi-kill. That saves a lot of time. Uh... Can I break these? I forget. I beat later. Maybe? like, I know there's boxes back here, that's why I just want to check those. You never give up on boxes, chat. Alright, since I don't have Smart Link on, I could just switch to Vivian if I need to do damage. Oh, I summoned the enemy in there, did I? Oops. My bad. Guess I could go kill Gibbles. More Jaya is being found, which is kind of nice. It's kind of funny on Pink ID. Look at that Gibbles trying. Hear him. Um... <laughs> You're still Vivian, just leaving that thing into non-existence. Anyway, back to the quest. So yeah, hopefully if we could get a Vivian with a little more hit. Uh, it technically is TP drain. We don't even, in theory, need Trifluids if we just find an enemy that's easy to hit. Kill. Alright, let's pop these things because they're annoying. A little bit of hell in here. You can see we're we're clear like we killed basically all of those in three casts. Like I will I will gladly take that when it comes to clear speed. Yeah, we just kind of adapt. If we see nobody as hell, we could become the hell user. We have Demonic Fork, and we're decent with it. Otherwise, we'll stick to Smart Link and stuff like that. We can line up our Megid here to get multi-kills. See, I just got two kills there with one use. We can definitely save the party some time here. Even as a force. Gibbles is so done when he comes. <laughs> like, go ahead, Gibbles. How dare you. I'm gonna slice you, Gibbles. If you show up, you're so done. Goodbye. Get slicered. <laughs> so dumb. I get this money for sure. I don't think I missed anything there. Now that we did that, this gate is open. Back to Demonic 4. Nice insta kill. Which again, like if we have really high ATP, like if we're solo, it might still be worth ATPing. But in multiplayer, it's it's faster for us to do that because we, we can't combo kill. So we're gambling on that two Megids more often than not will kill our target. Whenever that doesn't happen, we don't break even. 
That's a little sad when that happens. We can just melee them though, as I said before. If we really just need to do a little bit more damage, we can help the other players combo kill. Hey, look, Disco Brain Man on Pink ID. There we go. The dumbness continues. <laughs> So who would have thought, Chad? This is a run that has Jaya, Disco, Brave Man, and Lame to Argent. What a run. Just meleeed him to death with the Demonic Fork. I mean, as long as you use the Lorem, it does enough. Because our team is doing a lot of damage here. We should probably do this. Yeah, I mean, I'm doing, like, what is that? 600 a swing? That's not terrible. Get rid of those so I can start me getting. That was almost a quadra kill. Holy, okay, that was. Now that was a time save. Goodbye. Deal with the team a little bit. So I believe as we go back down, there should be another pathway open. Dangotron sitting at a happy 88. It's on May 97. So this path should now be open. I always get confused where it is. There it is. I'm going to choose to debuff him so it's easier to find him. Or you can just teleport in place. That, that also makes it easy to find him. Man, every time I go to hit him with a spell, he's just untargetable. The nice thing is Megid also means that if I do a weaker hit than the party, I'm not taking away from their ability to hit him here. I'm just going for a small chance to kill him instantly. Oh, oops, I forgot there's another wave. My bad. Okay, got the kill there. Now we can go all the way down. <laughs> the lone given, getting murdered by the team. Box checks. What's kind of nice is that these items are set. So if I want to replenish my tri fluids too, it actually has them for me. So nice. If you're trying to fix a mag synchro, you could just uh, pick up a lot of stars, which I probably do. Well, my max on stars. Oh. Alright, uh, well. Speaking of which. <laughs> Just easy step. Oh no, I didn't hit the switch. Oh no, I made a big mistake. Okay, so the downside to these quests is they have a dynamic camera in the final room. And I realized as soon as I did that, I did not step on the switch. Oh boy. This is going to be interesting. Well, I guess I could show off why you want to hit the switch to turn off the camera. <laughs> it's an opt-out rather than an opt-in for some reason. Uh, I'm going to switch to Smart Link here. I'm going to debuff. I'm going to debuff. Camera angles atrocious. Hmm. Hmm. I couldn't even tell how far he was from me from the camera angle. I legitimately had to look at the radar. <laughs> I was like, what is going on? Goodbye, Gobbles. I like how there's even more star animators over here, like just in case you needed to fix your synchro. So like here. Have like five guaranteed star animizers in this quest. There we go. Me get in real quick. On me good. Ooh, getting kind of unlucky with me good. I know I reduced the odds of it occurring slightly, but not that much. Unless she legit has like a garbage me good, then maybe. I think she might have a 30. I'm not sure. 
She's one of the few characters where I'm like, I think she does. I'm gonna use some slicer here. the glitch but got unlucky. Camera angle, please. There we go. Let's do this for a little bit. Eva. We need to use Vivian on you. Almost combo kill through Zalor. So if we had a native Vivian, I think I would be able to combo kill. Because we know right now it's at 0%. See how I'm only missing by like 200 or so? You have to think of it this way. If the weapon is like 400 plus, and we add potentially like 30, 40 dark, that's probably going to do it on a crit, right? Like you don't really need that much more. When the base weapon ATP is pretty high. Because this weapon has more ATP than Virasol does. I think has a better range on top of them. The weapon percents matter a bit more. But it at least looks like I can still combo kill with the item there. On me good. Nope. I tried. I definitely want that. Let's take that. Get rid of the keys. Deal with those. I was gonna say, we're we're going to hopefully mercifully hit the end of this room so our camera will go back to normal. So I will say aiming with this is a nightmare. It feels very floaty. I guess because the character can become really off-center from this screen. Like see how like I go left and it's like I'm really hard to one side? But trying to aim with it is interesting to say the least. Right, so we probably want to just debuff here so the team doesn't die. A nice little demon there should speed things up. That debuff is going to go a long way, I think. There we go, landed the demon. There we go, freed from the camera's control. He did it. I know, <laughs> I was like, I got locked in so hard, I was like, man, aiming so difficult there. I guess I could take the healing circle, because it's funny. There we go. Now we're getting to the real part. It's the ominous music kicks in. It's pretty appropriate. So once we complete this, we'll also get little tickets as well. So it's just kind of like just bonus on bonus on bonus. You get a lot of set guaranteed items to help you replenish your character. None of the waves are really difficult. On me, good. There we go. <laughs> I, I'm gonna unequip. Am I at 27 or am I at better with me good with this character? Oh, they're only at 27. That might explain something. So putting this on is like a 6% extra chance of landing the insta kill. Ideally, I'll have a maxed out me good on this character later. Yeah, I could just go around potentially one tapping things. So again, depending on what the, the run needs, I can swap in. So it's kind of nice being a support character, but also damage, but also potentially just insta-kill nonsense. Oh, I thought that was going to be an Excalibur. What a tease. I think that was the right kind of given, too. So sad. I got badged. Always pop the boxes. There's a gold badge. I think that's 
my fifth found gold badge. So I, I'm hoping to get one a session, like one within three and a half hours of playing, which I don't think is like crazy unreasonable. Kind of hoping to get a bit more, but you know, whatever. I know initially it's always going to be slower before the badge drop rate goes up. A cage briefly. Whatever. Just melee these out of existence real quick. Just give Ray Band drop. Too bad it dropped with no hit percentage. But again, it's kind of funny that, like, you could get Jessica of Raid Man and Jaya and Lame to Arjun. There's just so many weapons that potentially, if they even high roll at all, they're like actual game changers. She uses all of them, more or less, except for Jaya. Let's see, I think I got rid of all the fire spewers, so I don't have to worry about being careful. Nice level up. Dangotron at a whopping 90 already. On a grinder. I think I could box check from here, right? Yeah, I can. Okay. I, I can pop the boxes on the other side of that area. I'm not technically supposed to go there until later. But I know that they are there. Oh, nice double kill. Got him. So I know I could go there later. So now that I see that there's nothing there, I'm not going to bother. We'll probably expand my reader slightly. Make it like that big. Just because I want to make sure I don't cut off in case I get like double, 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 double so I can take the hit percentage. Anyway, there should be a healing circle I think beyond this point. For people looking to reset traps that should be there. Sadly though, they're going to force me to burn the uh, high fluid. Yep, and I can see it already. Egan, please. <laughs> there we go. What's funny is that they will spawn enemies in here, but it's like... Oh, Amplifier of Rebarda. Hmm. Guess I could pick that up. Don't really need a die fluid, I guess. We'll take those. I like the Amplifier of Rebarda for if you're doing Episode 4 boss. This is important to do as much damage as you can. And Ice is the weakness of two of the three of the... Episode 4 bosses. It's also not bad if you're playing to, planning to play pure support force, because you're going to be spamming Rebarda all day long anyway. Speaking of ridiculously good boxes... All of these boxes are tri-fluids and better, by the way. So, like, it's just so generous to you. I don't know why more quests aren't like this. I'm kind of sad that they did not have the same quality when they made other quests. Like, there's mo more than one healing circle, there's multiple tri-fluids, there's moon atomizers. Like, they thought this would be a harder quest, and I guess in some, to some regard it is. I hope if they do more custom quests, they have stuff like this. Were, were well planned out healing circles, which we have seen a little bit, I guess, in terms of healing circles, but it's really nice to just get all of these things to kind of restock. But like, if I feel like I died too much, I just star atomizer myself back up to max synchro. It's not a big deal. A lot of gibbons. This is a big chance to potentially get a lame to Arjun. Please. I beg of you, RNG. I beg of you. There we go. There we go. Oh no. Oh, I saw the camera button. I saw it. It was near me. 
Do you want it? If you want it for later, do not go through that work without touching it. <laughs> oh my gosh! I'm like, I'm making sure that's said disabled. I swear, if it's enabled here, okay, good. <laughs> this one is horrendous. Every enemy is so tall. You just can't see anything. I don't know why they did that. Sino Barrel's arms. Uh, I guess I can pick that up. Same almost at 100. Nice. See if he gets there by the end of the runs. So, so far, unfortunately, a bit unlucky with drops, but hey. Leveling people to another dimension, at least. Multi kill. Another photon draw? Another Disco Brave Man, sadly nothing of interest. I'll drop the Evade Material. The downside with the event quests is there's so many types of items that can drop that it's easy to cap an inventory. Like, you can see I have like just a wall of yellow and materials. Oh well. Rip Evade Material, I guess. Probably want that tri fluid. Okay, we're going to weaken them up a little bit for the team. And just pretty solid experience overall. But sadly, even though we did get some of the items of the hunt, we didn't get the item of the hunt. Oh well. Madam's Umbrella. You know, if that had actually rolled with hit percentage, I would have taken it. It's not a bad support item, but there's no reason to get it over Tyrells. Tyrells is just better. The only reason I would consider it with Berserk is that if I do play something like the Endless Quest that care about if I use money or not, that would enable me to have a damage option. But with zero hit, it's just not worth it to me at all. It's just a strictly inferior version of Tyrells in every regard. It does add buff range and stuff like that. If I want to become better at buffing people, it's not bad for them. There we go. We're starting to make up for XP per second here a little bit. There we go. Kasama hit 100 while fighting here. Become God. Destroy everything. There's a lot of items. Yeah, you can see the effect of the drop rate up, where the, the floor is just absolutely covered in items. We're not even remotely done with this wave. I'm be good. If, if Madam's Umbrella does roll with like 50 hit, I would still use it. Don't get me wrong, but it's like, it, it has to roll with it. Otherwise, I just have Tyrells if I really need it. There's so many enemies to fight here. Oh my gosh. Ooh, insta kill. Thank you. Lore time. Another insta kill. Love to see it.
So, if you remember, I was using that Razan through the wall. It was to check these items, specifically. I sometimes forget the chest is over there. I, I always, like, I'm like, oh, right. <laughs> so if there's anything of interest that dropped for you, it's probably over there. And just make sure at the end to talk to the reporter. So we're going to hand in the quest and then talk to the woman that's on the left near the railing. Okay. Now I should get something. There we go. I got four lucky coins. So we can use that for a roulette thing later. So it's a solid quest with good item placement, good uh, healing circles. Not like an overwhelming number of enemies, but there's a lot of enemies in the quest itself. Kind of nice. So I think with that, I guess we'll do one last run since it's getting quite late now. Going on almost 2 a.m. here. But hey, at least we could say we did a uh, long PSO run. I'm gonna hand in the quest for real this time and get, and get money for it. Hmm. Guess I could bring in something for TTF. The question is, what do I bring in? Guess I could bring in if I'm just looking to help people. So I could bring in a force. Not this one, though. I'll bring in maybe a Viridian ID force. Angry fists and hit things, maybe. Yeah, so that way team doesn't have to worry about it. They could pick whatever the character they want. But I think I might hard bully them with my level 200 phone human. <laughs> We'll break him out of retirement just to abuse Falls. That sounds about right. Does he even still have his Excal? Let's find out. Is he equipped with Excal? Ooh, he is not. He does have PDs on him for some reason, though. I should probably grab those. Ah. Don't need to hold. I guess I could still hold Lame to Argent and stun lock if I need to. Not a big deal. It's, it's very awkward as player one. I have done it as player one very often because I used to solo it with him. I just haven't done it in a while. It works is I look at something, they die. <laughs> oh, he doesn't have the shortcuts? Oh, no. Oh, he's the old shortcut. I'm going to be honest with you, I don't remember the order. I think it was this. Well, let's find out if I did it wrong. Nope, didn't get anything. Oh well, we'll do it manually. I'll have to fix the shortcuts later. Alright, so I think if he holds onto a lame to Argent, that should be good enough. It does have just a, a ball thing of stats. See, that's even 20% machine. I think it was meant to be. Yeah, you can just hold this if he wants to. Yeah. Probably. Probably. It'll be more damage if it's unlocked. How many PDs am I up to? I put three additional ones in there, so I found 16 today. Okay. <laughs> right, chat? Like, I, I know I was holding three on him. I might have put two in there from the force, but that would have been about it. Uh, He does need another weapon. Unless it's just in his bank or something weird. Let me check that real quick. Got a Mercurius, which I could use. It's got a Red Saber as a backup. I divine is fine. 
There's a charge mech gun. I don't see anything else of it in here. This is just junk. Okay. You don't have it, you don't have it, it's fine. I could probably use the red saber because it's better than the other one. Because at least it has machine percentage. I have weapons I could use on falls if I need to. Random gun years and clubs on the floor. Love to see it. Yeah, Mother Garb plus because I just want to conserve TP. I don't really care about damage. Oh, hello, Excalibur. I might as well just use it for the run. Yeah, his Excalibur is on the Rocket Seal because I think it's the 30 hit one. So I can't use Berserk consistently without uh, accuracy up, but it's fine. We could just believe every time we swing without it. Probably the lore of this if somebody wants to confuse trap these. Yes, he's got an 84% chance of landing it. So like typically when you play with this character, you want it. A 15 hit. Uh, I think we're good. Leave me alone. So thanks to Confuse, we should get a free couple of kills like that. Pretend I do damage. Also, I realized I grabbed type GU mech gun when I meant to get type ME mech gun. Oops. Oh well. That's fine. Our team does enough damage anyway. And I can tank a boss, so we're good. Nice little double hit on the dragon here to build meter if I want it. Yeah, sadly the Phonu World can't use Excalibur. She just ends up using, uh... Dango. She just ends up using Red Saber with Machine Percentage. So unfortunately it is kind of a big gap. Uh, ideally if I have enough ATP I would use Galatine now that Galatine's fully unlocked. I guess I could just stick to Glide Divine for now, just for debuffs. Just help the team out a little bit. I'll go in here for sure, because it's not like the team is losing DPS. Uh, you could technically Slime Dupe if you want to, because we have rooms we gotta wait in anyway. Just as long as both players don't Slime Dupe, I think we're fine. When it comes to cast. Rip the Slime. I was gonna say, as a reminder for slime duping, you have to attack with three attacks, and then then don't attack again, and the fire traps will do. ESO mechanics. I, guess I got a freeze going. Uh. hits so that we have a safe combo but that works in multiplayer I'll walk manually
Apparently the slimes did not drop anything. Rip. I didn't pay attention if they were duped though. Oh well. Kinda nice health total. I almost don't feel the killing. Oh, too late now. It's important to make sure I lure as soon as possible. My damage is like tertiary at best. I just have to make sure the bad guys just don't do any real damage. There we go. So I'll use my sacrifice special there to speed it up a bit. The Murphy. So sadly, I, I had like maybe about a 60% chance of landing it, but it's better than just not doing any damage at all. Uh, I'm gonna mostly debuff here. I already know as the lore here, plus confuse trap equals dead monsters. So as long as they confuse, yeah, look at that. Look how fast that is. And I can speed this up just by doing this. I almost thought I got rewarded there. Like, damn, that was a fast reward. So he's dead. That's Brom's badge. Oh no, another confused trap? Well, good goodbye to that entire wave. Again, I'll just kind of clean it up as a force. I don't have anything better to do. It's not like I'm going to be DPS in any of these rooms. I'm not needed, other than maybe technically running for Sinnoh Road. So I might as well just check for like 15 badge chances. <laughs> I'm basically gonna wait for them to put a tail pipe down. <laughs> oh, I got a photon drum. Unless you really need me in the center room. I'm assuming they're just gonna kill the red and Owen run. Oops, looks like he got away. I think I came over here. Debuff time. Okay, this should help clean up the room a little bit. Team needs to keep running. I don't know why we're farming this team. They don't drop anything. I'm like, th these guys are the hard ones to farm. <laughs> we, we, we can ignore these. The other guys might drop skins. These guys, nah, they're not worth it. Yeah, they unfortunately removed the V101, so the, the farm is just not worth it at all. Trying to get the refreeze. That works. By Rafoe, that means that anything near me will not shoot at them. Okay. Do this to help reduce laser shots. Okay. Uh, how confident am I feeling in a no practice Gazan stun lock? This will be interesting. I'm like, when was the last time I did it on stream? 2023? The, the first attempted one on stream in a while? I'd almost never bring a force here. So the trick with this is to not bother aiming for the first monitor at all, because it's total garbage. I'm going to hold forward and then turn around and get on. Problem with it is I can't see him sometimes. What? Did he teleport? How did he skip that many screens? Him, please. Did 
There we go. Or not. I guess I'm too far. My bad. I might have to do this manually, because it feels like he's disappeared on me a little bit. There we go. Unfortunate. I was going to say, I have the 801 on, right? Okay, I do. There we go. Yeah, the first time I just... I thought I stunlocked him, but then I didn't. I must have been too far. Yeah, there's kind of the weirdness. If I was unarmed, that would have stunlocked. I think with the Excalibur, I need to remember. I need to be, like, within the ring for it to stunlock. Whereas, like, when you are unarmed, because you cast faster, you could do it from further away. So it is very awkward to do it as player one. I was gonna say, if he, if he wants to cage me, I'm gonna, like, by all means, it doesn't matter. So I tried using this method, but the downside to this is it gets rid of the radar. So I felt like he skipped a monitor on me when he was on the bottom side. Which was a little unfortunate. Oh well. Zalore. Oh, I thought this even had that. Oops. Same 102, which is nice. I'm just gonna go for the upper platform. I'm not gonna go for anything fancy here. Yeah, I gotta practice with this menu. It's like, oh, I did actually have his menu correct. I because the reason I was saying before is I didn't check to see if his menu was correct. Because that changes where my Kazand is, because usually I put Kazand like here or here. And for some characters I haven't moved it at all. So I wasn't sure where it was in the menu. So never mind. I could have just done this menu. Because I like doing this method faster. I just do this. Because that way I can see the mini-map. That's the downside to this, I never see the mini-map. So if I'm not like directly facing him, because the camera's being temperamental, then it's just kinda GG. Oh well, you know for the future. They defeated a Hilda. Oh, they did blue ID Hilda Tor? That's gross. That's actually gross. I can't believe they did that. Chat, please don't do blue ID Hilda Tor. That farm is terrible. I beg of you, please don't do that hunt. It's so miserable. Um, I don't remember for Viridian if these are worth killing, to be honest. I really think about it. It's not green ID, it's not red ID. I guess there's nothing of interest now. Let me double check. Future reference. Is that, I know we don't have any Del Dev, or not Del Dev, we don't have any Del Sabers. So it would just be Bringer's right arm? Yeah, that's not really worth it. I guess we could still Lava Scan in the Sorcerer. I guess that's fine. Anyway, we're gonna briefly acquire a magical piece. And when the team is really close, I'm just gonna buff them. <laughs> Maximize that shifta. Honestly, I think to avoid Gafoe confusion, I might just Rafoe to make it simpler for the team. Like, between waves, I'll do a Gafoe like this. Because we're waiting anyway. If you want to activate, that's on them. The downside with the unarmed stance is that it leans forward. Don't mind me, just just rebuffing the team, don't mind me. 
is that from the standpoint of the unarmed stance, it leaves you a lot more open than normal. Where's my Rifoe going? Interesting. Anyway. I was like, I just noticed, I don't think I've, I was curious what happens if you Rifoe the head where it goes. I think it went to the body. It's kind of funny to me. Assuming it's gonna come to me. Kind of did. Take that though. There we go. It wasn't too bad. I'll have to rebuff people in a moment though. So let's see. I'm gonna choose to go to the left on the circle. Hopefully people are over there. I, I always forget where people are positionally to me. Okay, I see buffs to my left. Let me go this way then. Oh, I got tagged. That's so sad. Unlucky. Oh. I was gonna say, I, I almost never assume somebody uses twins. I always twins if I see it. I sadly didn't have enough meter to twins it. I mean, it should hurt the boss in theory, but... Do some buffs. Target me, please. If you get behind me, I can body block. I'm like, I will face play. <laughs> I will face skin face play for the team. There we go. I'm assuming someone will revive me if I die. I mean, I'm just gonna do as much damage as I can, really. Uh. Oh, can you imagine if the falls that actually died up there? That would have been hilarious. Oops. I didn't realize it wasn't targeting me right away. There we go. Last second revive for Dango. Get that XP, Dango. So yeah, kind of unfortunate. I gotta practice with player one... Bo Newman. I almost never do that run anymore, sadly. And in single player, you can't get good practice because it moves so slow. <laughs> like, compared to multiplayer, it is... Did I seriously get a red ring? <laughs> Such BS. <laughs> Whatever. Anyway, I guess I have another red ring. <laughs> just... <laughs> Don't mind me, chat. Just... Just BSing with, like, the level 200 Bo Newman. Take your head, chat. What did it roll with? Is it better than my current? Oh, he's not even using his red ring? Oh, he's not using his red ring. Well, I guess I could try the run again, but this time have the right thing. That would explain his accuracy penalties, because I was thinking, you know, like, I was expecting to hit a little more consistently. I mean, I, I guess I could do the run again. <laughs> Just this time with the with red ring equipped. My other shortcut is not working. Let's see why it's not later. Well, I guess if I needed the red ring with him, he's got it forever. Goes away. Need the other bang. Let's do one more. Him, please. Thank you. 
Don't need that. Don't need that. Gonna hold the scowl for now. It's probably fine. I was gonna say, if Chris was here, he would get so salty. Yeah, no worries. We're doing another one. I'm putting away my charge gun that I don't need. Yeah, now I should be able to land it a bit easier. We'll do one more. This time with Red Ring. And I'm gonna try the other style. I I'm more used to doing the other style. I just wasn't sure if he set up correctly, given that his shortcuts don't work. In fact, they still are not working. I have to see what I did. I thought it. I thought I did 11 and 12 for the technique, but I have to check my commands. Yeah, hell, hell, uh, you know, where hell shot is also pretty decent. What button is this? Eight. Okay, there, music. Sorry, chat. Just looking at my shortcut. It's not working. For me. This should be. But if I do that, it's... F... I did it as F10? Why? And I could just do this again. I don't know why I did that if I did it this way. We'll find out in a moment, because I know my command is not working. Oh, that lobbies me. That's not correct either. Uh, sorry, we'll make it another one. That should work for now. Sorry about that. Okay. I just quickly adjusted it. Should be good. I, I can fix that later. We're gonna sort our inventory. So Red Ring will help us land the... Sacrifice special on the forest enemies. I still can't consistently land it on Worm Boss without hit. No lyrics. I chat bad, no lyrics. There we go. Up and Dango Tron level, Kasame's leveling, Kaiser's leveling. I was about to say, I feel like lyrics are about to happen. Move forward. Let's use Glide Divine to debuff. Let's simplify the run a little bit. The one Confuse Trap should kill most of these. I'm just gonna do this to clean him up. Wow, that was a real quick cleanup. I'm not gonna lie, that was that was a real fast cleanup. Oh, the Confuse Trap missed. That's unfortunate. Yeah, Confuse Trap in general will kill even in multiplayer but usually it needs a little bit of assistance they might need to be at like three quarters health or the lord in the case of the mines enemies they just do so much damage they delete each other including the sinos like we don't even technically have to interfere with them they're just dead whenever that happens it's kind of funny all right let's see what our percent odds of hitting the uh dragon is I guess in theory, I would... Would I bother with a red ring on my blue mage? I don't think I would. We still need one technically for the raw moral, unless I just leave it on this character forever. Which is okay to do, I guess. Yeah, okay. At least now I can land the sacrifice somewhat consistently here. But if I want him to not take off, I can do some decent damage. And more importantly, that does improve his ATP a little bit. I think that was too early on my part. Alright, so that was a pretty consistent double hit, thanks to the accuracy up. So, with Red Ring, I'm at 91%. So a 10%... No, not even a 10%. A 5% Excalibur, I think, is good enough. Or I'll be at like 99 or something silly. 
but 90% is pretty good. Also, the red ring kind of evens out my MST and other stats a little better. That's nice. Or if he says they need to tr uh, yeah. I would say definitely the Hell Needle slash Health Shot is worth picking up. Just because there are so many- if you plan on doing anything in Episode 2, it's so powerful. Or consider, like, the S-Rank Hell, in case you want it on a Hunter. There we go, there's some slime duping. Then you just put a little bomb in the middle, and then GG. Give them a salute as they get blown up. <laughs> nice level up. Oop, let's protect the team. No, what? I have time. I'll kill these lilies. This is my contribution. I'm not gonna bother farming the other enemies. You just do that, right? There we go. Look at that. I'm contributing. I can potentially assist in the other room. Nicely done. And then I'm just in time to potentially help finish this one off. As slime duping happens. Oh, there's some big slime duping happening in the other room. Like a million slimes. There you go. The dupe is real. Here, um... Uh, I was gonna say, I have a Ryuk or somewhere. Let's take it. Nice. Alright, so now I should actually be able to land normal heavy heavy pretty consistently, because before even that was not guaranteed on the worm boss. So we'll see what the difference of red, or red ring is on the run. As I said before, when we go to do the Gazan stunlock, I'm gonna do the other quick menu in case I need to do a blind shot or see where he's teleporting to. I should have equipped a. I need to remember to equip a Glide Divine here to get the debuffs consistently. Yeah, see, now I'm at 100% accuracy on the heart attack. That's what I wanna see. Because I didn't have that before. So I still need the. Uh, potentially the. Accuracy boost to hit the sacrifice more consistently, but more importantly the heart attack is never missing now. So that's pretty big So I could normal heavy heavy, but I'm gonna go for a risky normal heavy special An LNK with hit? Oh man, okay. I mean Sure I mean do I just whip it out? Listen Chaz, sometimes listen you're, I'm getting armed in real time. <laughs> there we go. This will be fun on another character. I can technically use it with him, but his accuracy is garbage. Unless it's like an 80 hit plus, it's not going to matter. Okay, so we're going to clean this up for the other team members and pick this up. And if they want to confuse trap this as well, this should just be an easy pickup for them. Like, legitimately, they barely need to do anything. It's kind of terrible. I could just clean this up. And I could clean up cannabins while we wait. Although, I should probably help debuff the Sinos. Those enemies are at least, like, fast kills, so I don't feel like I'm losing that much time. Like, yeah, I'm a few seconds behind, but if you look at the rest of the room, like, they're just here. Like, I'm probably fine. We can at least kill a few of these while we're waiting. Because it seems like people are running back, so at least there's something worth going back for sometimes. So we're not going to be on time for the Sinnoh Red, but we will be there for the Sinnoh Blue. Yeah, I think for this room in particular, I should probably keep a Glide Divine out. I'm gonna make sure I'm ready for this. So I've debuffed them, so the Sinnoh Blue should be a safe kill. And it's a lore for sure. I'm gonna chip him out with what we got. With this Zalora, I don't think we'll be too far off. There we go. We had a nice stun lock going there. I like that. 
I mean, a 30 hit Ellen case, pretty solid. I don't know if it rolled with anything else, did it? It rolled with dark as well? Wow. Okay, well, I mean... That's probably something I want to consider using on the Huta Seal. Yeah, that's something else. <laughs> it's like, wait a minute. It's going to be a 30 hit? I mean, ideally you want 50, but I mean, like, I think I only... I might have a 30? I don't know if I have a 30 with dark, though. That would be new. Oh, are we done with the soundtrack? That's awkward. Or Yakuza 7 OST. Let's go. Okay, so we're going to equip the Excalibur. I'm going to make sure I'm in the right menu. Okay, we're good. I'll rebuff people once we're in the, uh, what's it called? The explodey part of it. I'm assuming it won't take more than a minute. I'm going to walk forward. I'm going to move the camera, and then I'm going to fix the... I don't know why. I just find this easier. Just sometimes if I go too fast, that can happen. There we go. Rebuff the party. Ta -da. I think I dropped one Gazan. That wasn't too bad. <laughs> Considering it's also from player one, which sucks. I'll take it. I'll take it all day. Are you gonna cage me? Oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna delay you so the team murders you. Joke's on you, my damage is irrelevant. Are you missing me too? Chad, I'm feeling a little targeted by Ball. <laughs> Okay. Can I see ball off target some other players, please? I'd appreciate it. There we go. Stupid ball off. I'll make sure to give the Excal back to uh, Murphy after this. I definitely don't want to go in first. I probably want to glide divine. And stun these to slow them down. Clean up the claws since I'm waiting. I might as well get the free kills, right? Uh, I guess I can lure them. That did insane damage to me. I was not expecting to take that much. They definitely damage stacked me there, by the way. I don't know if you saw that. Kind of BS, to be honest with you. Nice confuse. I can clean that up. I can help a little bit with this enemy. Actually, more accurately, I can keep up again. <laughs> like it's a game with 10 red rings. I mean, listen. It's like I'm collecting like the infinity stones. I'm collecting the infinite uh, red rings. No lava cannon. Red ring each finger, pretty much. I I don't know. I have to do a double check on how many red rings I have. I've lost track. <laughs> Sorry, as terrible as that sounds, I really don't remember. I know most of my rangers have it at this point. My hunters, except for my humor, I think have one. I guess in theory, we're looking for another red ring for my humor. <laughs> then it'll be motivation to play as him. Oh man, let's unequip for Excalibur. Although, actually, to slow down our casting, I probably want to keep the Excalibur equipped. I want to make sure I'm not in a wide stance. That's the downside with the unarm casting. It's faster, but the way the spinners work, I'll get hit twice more often than not. If I have something that keeps me... Yeah, like, that's close to the body, I'm not going to get multi-hit, generally speaking. Fireball's there. While we're waiting, we'll go for away. That works. Yeah, we'll cover the, like the northern part of the screen. Should take quite a few of them. Oh, 
Aw. The thing that I wanted to walk into at the end moved away from me. How unfortunate. Can I get 99 silvers to get each color? I mean, I think I have most of the colors. I don't want them. I can acknowledge it is the thing that has happened, possibly. There we go. I need to remember for this I need to switch to Glide Divine to get the guaranteed debuff. The odds of me Excaliburing are pretty low. Wow. Oh, I ran for it just in case. Really? Uh. Okay. I mean, I'll take that. I mean, listen, if the boss doesn't want to move, I already ran that distance. Uh, just think, the Same was 80 earlier. So silly. Sure, I'll just rant you, Paris. Rip Dango. Slowly make my way to Dango. There we go, I took a bullet. <laughs> Everybody took some damage. But hey, you all survived now. That's the important thing. You did it. It's character growth. At least that's like 500 less damage we have to do to the boss now. Nice invincibility. Run, Geyser, run. We're gonna chip out the boss a little bit. I got scared there. I didn't see the revive, so I stopped attacking. There we go. I did it. Oh, I I tried blocking, but then Kaiser ran. <laughs> Kaiser was actually safe. <laughs> but then he rip. I'm dead. Oh, uh, that's okay. I don't need XP. Oh, I did get revive. Nice. I was gonna say I'm a max level. I don't care. <laughs> let let me die for the cause, chat. I'm pointing. I'm like, I dare you to double red ring me. I dare you. I've seen that enemy's part of being a cast, no worries. Aw, uh, no red ring. Get rid of these. But anyway, we'll give the Excal back that we were borrowing. But we could see at least we got to demonstrate the difference of the run with and without the uh, red ring. And I got pretty close. A 40 hit caliber. Come on. Now, now you're just now you're just teasing me, game. Got like 120 hit of force of Romar to get over. Hmm. Oh, so many, so many almost good items. Say so we did pick up this LNK with 30 hit. Which I think it's pretty high. I don't remember if Hellcleave gave me a matching number or not. No. I'm getting me a lift found, nice. Oh. No. Come on, you can go to 30. There we go. We'll give it back to Murphy in a moment. Thanks, I guess. For my humorous humor. I mean, maybe. <laughs> oh no, this. That's something. True. Technically needs it.
There we go. Excalibur exchanged. Yeah. I found the best way for player one is that they have to walk forward and then you turn around. If the other players shoot the other monitor, it definitely helps a little bit, but I want to learn to do it without assistance to get that set up. It's, it's still kind of awkward because your camera turns kind of slow relative to how fast the boss is moving. So it's like just as you start to see a lot of the boss, the boss is already like midway out of the screen already. Although if the boss stays there for a two monitor cycle, that actually helps because the boss lingers longer there. Whatever. I'm happy. I guess I'll leave it with the red ring. I didn't really get to see what the stats were on it, honestly. I just kind of picked it up instantly. Real quick. It was a... 68 or something like that? Okay, it's pretty high. <laughs> oh no, his defense has eclipsed his attack power. What a world he lives in. There we go. I guess I could see if the other thing is an upgrade. I'm assuming it's usable in my humor. I'd probably prefer it on the hue cast. I'll take a quick look before we sign off. The by C Bank 3. Look real quick. Yeah, so we have to think. Everybody in C Bank 1 has it. Two of the characters in C Bank 2 have it. Seven, eight, nine. I might have nine or ten red rings. Viridia definitely is wearing it. Ro the Raw Cast is wearing it. The Hue Cast has one in the Spare Bank. I guess the question is if I have another one for my other forces. I might only have nine. I just want to see what LNK he was using. Which I think I put in the bank for the moment. Otherwise it'll go to the Humor. He doesn't have it on him currently. Whatever. Probably should have done episode 2, but that's fine. Oh wow. He has a lot of things he needs to put away. One more day to go on the auction. Uh, hopefully you get a Tiggy. Let's put these away. So many items this event so far. Wait a minute. It is bank and then lobby. I did flip it. I was like, something was weird with it. Okay, I'll remember to do that later. Oh, he doesn't even have one with hit. Oh, really? It must be, maybe it's on the huge to seal. I definitely have one with hit. I guess I could whip it out. That's how I'd like the game with this. I mean, it is a hue cast. So it's more damage than my charge ray gun per shot. Hmm. Let's test it out in forest real quick. So ideally, I don't want to land the special, I just want to land the heavy attack. So it's just out of range. Yeah, that seems fair. <laughs> right, chat, just... Oh, don't mind me, delete button. <laughs> yeah. Look at that gun, chat. Yeah. Makes sense. The game is basically going to walk my server because whenever I have one item, it's almost granted that someone else will get it. Oh. Uh, oh. Okay, I'm really liking this gun in single player chat. I don't know about you. Hmm. See, like, he's at 108 hit percentage, so I know it would only be at 78% normally to hit it. 
So, if nothing else, if I really wanted to do solo forest runs, this is ultra free. Now, I could freeze enemies to get the higher chance to hit as well. I guess I could try to do it here. Yeah, so he is just going to always land it at that point, which is good. If I really just want to delete the enemy, I could do that. Okay. So, I'll probably use this a little more, since honestly, its accuracy isn't, like, super far off. Like, it's as good as my Disco of Brave Man is. I mean, granted, I have 13, so it's always going to be a little higher than it lists. But still, that's, I think, good enough for me to use it long term. So ideally, I'm going to offset the harder enemies with a little bit of freeze. And I still have a lot to go with ATP. So he's already combo killing in single player. And it's it doesn't even have a percentage for the thing I was just fighting. So I guess I could very briefly check to see ruin enemies. It's very rare I get an item with hit percentage, so I think it's always worth testing it out. But otherwise, we're done with runs. I'm just kind of curious about this. Oh. Of course, it's like the most annoying room. Just real quick. Nice, so that kills. Normal attack doesn't kill, but he's a 98% chance of landing it. I mean... <laughs> right, Chad? I mean, like, uh... Okay. I mean, I want to see it against other enemies. But already, we're seeing the payoff of the 30%. Because normally he would never get anywhere that close. I don't super care if I get hit. I guess I could check. Presumably this is like the other quest where there should just be a box room. Okay, it's like the other quest. Sadly, nothing of interest in the boxes. Okay. I have an 88% chance of landing it, but if I freeze them... I have a 100% chance of landing it thanks to the hit percentage. This is actually a pretty big threshold to hit then. That is a pretty big threshold to hit. The 30 hit means that in single player, I can actually just use it as is. Now she sees unlock combo, something like that. So, I mean, obviously if I get like a 35 or a 40 hit, that's definitely good for me, but I think that's good enough. We'll give our Humar a Zalor. <laughs> That'll be the final thing we do, because I will totally forget that I did not do it otherwise. The true upgrade. The champion is here. We could put away all these items. Oh yeah, that's right, I got another Briggs right arm. It's actually an important pickup. I might actually make another one for uh, sharing with others. he's got anything waiting in his bank of interest. He has a lot of Vegitos. Yeah, he's got one with 20 hit. Mmm. So I so I did find an upgrade over, I think, what Hellcleave gave me, because I'm pretty sure this is the thing he helped me get. That's good. Right, nothing of interest in there. Get that Zalore going here somewhere. Oh, he can't quite use it. Oh, Humar. <laughs> of course you can't. Of course you can't use it. The heavenly mind on. Big brain Humar play. Although I think he's level 15 with those. I think he just doesn't have... Yeah, I think he just doesn't have the Robardas. So technically, if you want it back, it should be good. I wasn't sure if I was just mu misreading he had 15 or 14. I'll put it back for now. But yeah, his Rafoe is, like, sad. <laughs> it's like, I should probably pick those up going forward. What does he need again? His Rabarda is max. The only important one that he needs is max. Everything else is kind of terrible. Yeah, it looks like he's max there. Unfortunately, his shift and D-band are still at level 0. Maybe one day he'll learn. So then I just have one question myself then. 
Do I have an LNK combat on my Huka Seal? I think maybe unless it has high percentage. So I think the way it works is if I have one with like okay hit but high attributes, I think I give it to the Huka Seal. The 30 hit is good enough on the raw cast. Or you cast, I mean. Just want to check this character. That'll be the final thing we do on stream. Yeah, it was a nice session. We did a little bit of Chrono Cross today. We did a little bit of PSO. We got some interesting drops. I don't think she uses... Oh, yeah. See, there's the 60 hit vice. Makes sense. I do miss playing as the Hugh Seal. She can feel a little weak in some regards compared to the Hugh Cast for the obvious reason that Hugh Cast is broken. But I do like the fact that... She's actually pretty good at landing with my all zeroed equipment, where the U-Cast isn't. So right now, their power difference is not as big as you think it would be. And sometimes I just really want to land specials. So she has her own LNK combat with nothing but it is 25 dark. That's kind of what I was thinking. Okay. So I, I don't need to give her the other one, unless I feel like I really can't do anything with it. Yeah, like... Oh. Oh, she doesn't even... Okay. The other dark one I'm thinking of must be on my uh, raw moral. But either way, like, this isn't, like, super useful attributes for me. I need it to be, like, native dark machine. If it's not going to give me hit percentage. Whatever. So, yeah, I think most of the characters are decent-ish. It wouldn't hurt to get a slightly better Jaya, for example, but... Nothing I'm in a rush for. My gear souls are terrible. But I don't usually use them for damage, so that should be good. Okay, I'll just make a note later on my items, what I'm looking for. I'm still looking for a decent Vivian. Sadly, we didn't see one today. But hey, we got a uh, red ring. We got people leveled. We did some cookie quests rushing to some extent. And yeah, we had uh, a lot of leveling of ults. So I think the goal of having my funeral hit 180 did happen. She feels... She went from okay to, like, above average, but I'm still not in love with her in terms of, like, her ability to clear things. Like, the accuracy helps, but I'm like, I just kind of like traps more in single-player play so far, unless I'm doing something really crazy. I don't really want to spend the time debuffing enemies most of the time, unless I'm in, like, specifically something like Seabed or Tower or something crazy. Where I feel like I just don't even need to debuff them, like, a single Confuse Trap will make up all the damage difference. Or, like, a single Freeze Trap will make up all the accuracy, so I could just do nothing but safe high damage moves. I don't know. I mean, I guess it's the evolution of gameplay. I went from never using casts to using casts. I went from playing Ranger to doing Force to going to a little bit of Hunter. So we're kind of all over the place. But hey, I guess it's all part of the learning experience. But anyway, chat. It is time to say goodbye to YouTube. It has been quite a stream. Thank you all for watching. And uh, I guess see you in the next part, YouTube.